All right. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to some more Week 6 Cross Keys. This time in the Open League, we have, for the Underachievers, P-Train versus Gray Corvid from B&H, the LTTPR team. A uh, really close race in their division uh, with uh, 24 and 21 points, respectively. A GFE scoring a win last night to put the Underachievers in first place in the Palace of Darkness division. My name is Tracy. I'm with you today is Lana Bean. How are you doing, Lana? Doing fantastic. How's your day going? Doing good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, more cross keys. More cross keys, more better. Uh, we're almost done with this week, and it's my favorite of the season. So um, a little sad is coming to an end. We get we get a couple more races tomorrow and this race tonight. So the best mode coming to an end. It's sad. Yeah. But we're going to have a great race today. Uh, P Train and Great Corvid, both well known runners in the community. It's going to be a fantastic race. All right. And for anybody unfamiliar with the mode, it is Cross Keys. It is Cross World Key Sanity. So connectors can lead from Dark World, Light World, and vice versa. And we're looking for all those small keys and big keys that we need to beat the seed. And maps tell us what dungeons are, are going to be our penance and uh, crystals. So. We're gonna be looking for some stuff. Yeah, I mean, oh, here we go. Uh, both starting at Link's house. Both getting a heart piece. He trained using his custom sprite as always. Now we get a little diver. Just like P trains going for the traditional hula hand start. Yeah, Bob Ross heading north. <laughs> Well, it looks like Petra and I have a little issue with fake flipper here. Got it. Second try. Well done. Uh, arrows on the tree pole. Only useful if we get a bow. Now yeah, we're going to scout this because it's really slow to go around. Over on the castle drop down, just a compass. We're not getting that. I personally don't like to do this first. I want to be able to just drop down and know where Ganon is already. Uh, nothing doing at the potion shop for P-Train. Looks like P-Train's ultimate goal may be uh, an early Hulahan. Usually that's what you're doing in this route, of course. <laughs> the head go on, the, on, the, on the one pixel movement there is quite amusing. I don't think I've ever... I mean, I've seen this sprite for years, but I don't think I've ever actually quite seen that head movement. Well, it looks like the uh, front of Power Castle was just the uh, dark potion shop there. Dark, uh, not potion shop, dark... Uh, Chocolate oh, it sank. <laughs> Unfortunately, no bombs for P-Train, so he'll have to get that to get the drop down a little bit later. Meanwhile, Greg Forward's going to go ahead and check these Lake Hylia locations. Bad Ice Rod Cave. We're not getting anything there. Make it a good B Cave. Not going to help us much. Also, shout outs to Homemade Beer for setting us up and going to be setting us up with, with various, uh, um, what do you call it? Predictions. <laughs> and big shout outs as well to Pig Scalibur handling all the track and forest. The hard job of the day. Thank you very much. No, oh, we're going to go straight over to Eastern from, with, uh, for Greg, Greg Corbin. And Petrin going to be a little disappointed here north. Don't see many people heading towards Eastern early. Good, interesting call. Yeah. I mean, the, the good thing about Eastern is that you don't have to worry about orphaning anything because no glove. Oh, well, or we could just take a connector over to <laughs> go over to Kakariko. Um, bad thing is that, you know, every once in a while, you'll get that opportunity to combine Eastern with the pod area with a mirror. And this just takes that off the table. Or maybe find a flute or something which gets over here a little faster. Yeah, that too. But on occasion, the game wants you to go over here, and you don't know it, and you lost location and entrance here, so could be that. Here's an item. Just a piece of heart. Yeah, that's why the game wanted us over here, right? Gotta get that heart. Oh, of course. Alright, so P-Train finds the worst shop in the game. Well done. I mean, I legit saw a race where somebody really needed arrows recently, and I thought to myself, I don't even know where the arrow shop is in Vanilla. <laughs> That's a good point. If I had to buy arrows, I'd be in some trouble. Alright, Eastern Palace gives us 
Just a fortune teller. Also, featuring trying, trying to get one of these 50 50 bushes to pop. And 50 50 meaning um, those bushes down there have a 50% chance to give you a bomb, and the P train went over four. Yeah, theoretically, they have a 50 50 chance. I swear sometimes every bush gives me a bomb, and I swear sometimes it, they just don't. <laughs> but it's like it rolls the actual percentage when it rolls a seed or something, you know? Or maybe just I... when I start playing. <laughs> I so agree, it always feels that way. Right, scout of the race game. Oh, there's some bombs. And a small key to, po to pod. And I missed what was on race game. Anything interesting? I totally missed it too. I was watching uh, Ray Corbin. I was watching that pod key. <laughs> oh, hey, we can get bombs here. Tower of Hera and Swamp for our red crystals. Jet Those bombs are cool. expensive, though, so yeah, we're not going to buy them. Nah. It's 100, 100 rupees instead of 50. And Great Parvin gets the shortcut to uh, Kakariko. And uh, we're told it was a compass. Yeah, we're never getting that. Even as someone who values compasses, I'm never getting that. Oh, there's some more money for Petrine. All right, we get the useless fairy over at the magic bat. Still looking for the coveted well and, uh, you know, Ganon. Oh, hi, Mini Mulder. I mean, if you're perfect, you can do that on three three bombs. Just just don't miss. <laughs> or maybe they're in the bomb drop pool. Well, yeah, there you go. Oh, Peter's going to find his way over to Eastern area. A little French vanilla chicken out here. And going to take his way back over to Kakariko. Not much going on in Chicken Nut. Which Not is much going much. on anywhere. We've got one pod small, one trackable item in five minutes, almost six. We got we got three bombs. Yeah, that's pretty well. Okay. Great Corvid has three bombs. <laughs> Petra doesn't even have the three bombs to attempt to do that perfectly. There's Ice Palace, which we can't do anything in right now. I'm a little surprised Greg Fort Corver doesn't try and pick up the 50-50 bush after laying the bomb there. Okay, that's a, that's a good starting spot once we get to the mountain and save the old man. I like it. It's not bad. Doesn't, doesn't do anything for us right now. Especially if you don't find the flute early. Definitely good to be able to start in Kagrico. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like a dark connector in... The shop. But for all we know, that could be the back of Gary right next to Gary. It could be. And you might see the runners, if it is, you might see the runners go for it. Uh, I personally can't do it without something to see by. Uh, preferably a sword, but a boomerang or a hookshot will do it too. Uh, some people can do it by the sound, because the because of the stereo, but I don't play with stereo, so I'm just out of luck on that one. You'll, you'll see people quick swapping just to, for the sound there. Oh, there's our uncle. Uh, typically somewhere you want to see up at the lumberjack or something like that. Uh. Yeah, more money. All right, so we have the woods drop down, lumberjack, and GT left to scout. Oh, and the well. We haven't seen the pod. We... Hey, we got a second pod small. I mean, it's P trains first, but like maybe we'll get a nice early uh, bunch of pod keys and be able to do everything there the first time in. True. That doesn't happen. I also forgot we haven't seen that sank either, so sank is another drop down. Right, so, yeah, the Sank's over at the Useless Fairy drop, so... P-Train has seen it, uh, Grey Corvid has not. Right, I was talking about the literal Sank drop down. Uh, oh! Yeah, we haven't seen that drop down, Lumberjack, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Lost the, the, Woods, I think. Yep. Of course, my brain's going, we saw the castle? No, wait, that's different. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Oh, me all the time. Mm. 
And Petrain says, screw it, I'm just paying the extra money from for these bombs. <laughs> Fine game. Give us no other bomb shops anywhere. Fine. Watch us find one immediately. Just throw the back. Right? I thought you can pay like yeah, an extra fifty dollars for the ten bombs. Yeah, usually it's fifty, but that shop is is more expensive. Yeah, this makes sense. You want to do mini moldorm, and you want to do it with enough bombs, like ten bombs. Like, you, you, what? Oh my gosh! That I, I'm sorry. That bomb was right on top of those moldorms. What the heck? <laughs> Oh my goodness! I, I I can't explain that. That looked like the perfect throw. If if anybody knows glitchiness and <laughs> nice bomb spooky, some sort of is that so, some sort of uh, uh insulo thingy? Must must be. And that's a fire rod and a bottle we got from there. So not a bad nice. game. Yeah, and you see Gray Corvid in uh, the castle uh, could. Could have used that fire rod if he wants to do... Well, because he needs a little... Oh, two bombs and, like, what? Maybe two, maybe two fire rod shots? That's probably not going to be enough to get through. Yeah. First, he needs to go to Mini Moldarm and... He wants to find bombs first. Now, now P-Train looks like he's got at least... At least two shots, maybe three. Looks so like he has can, three shots. Be, yeah, yeah. So he'll, he'll be able to do that. And he's got... Okay, he's back down to two bombs, so... <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like Hyrule Castle East went out to Bumper Top. That's a good connector to find early. Yep, absolutely. The other one went to the Laser Bridge entrance, which is pretty useless until we have a mirror, so. And often useless after we have a mirror, so. <laughs> yeah, it's typically something I may connect early and then unconnect not long after, and I'm like, oh, I can get up this way. All right, bye. Gotta have a clean tracker. All right, we're, back. we're on the mountain now. That was a Death Mountain connector. Yeah, but it's not the old man. Huh. Oh, I see what he did. He did, He went through the, uh, the, uh, the, um... He didn't go through the dark cave. He went through the old man start spot. Which is oh. a much easier dark room to do. <laughs> yeah, hold down right, you're fine. Yeah, I'd say that's actually a, quite a, a free dark room to do. Alright, that was, I think, Magic Bat in the Lost Woods. So, we're down to... Ganon's Tower, we're down to Lumberjack and uh, Sanctuary. And you can see P-Train just spamming that, that quick swap to try and hear where he's at. And if nothing else, it'll this will get P-Train the uh, save quit spot straight to Sank, which is really, really nice. Alright, what do we got a Lumberjack? Okay, well, that's... That's a... That puts all the Hyrule Castle stuff in logic. Now, with the Sank drop-down, it's kind of irrelevant, but... Hey, Tracy. Oh, no! <laughs> we, need, we need two CT smalls. And yeah. Mm. Okay, Castle, Tower, Small Key, Hunt on. Literally all 216 locations can have that ca those castle tower small. So there we go. Good luck. We're all counting on your winners. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so Mike and Chad pointing out we're getting boots. Hopefully we're not getting late boots like the last ca one, of the last castle tower uh, seeds I saw. All right, there's a small key behind the glove. What does Agena have for us today? Money. Okay, well. We need that. I mean, our trackers are still barren. Great Corvid's still just two pod smalls and a GT small. That's all that's been clicked on his side. Well, it'll be interesting to see if Great Corvid tends to stay closer to logic. Uh, maybe out south or it's either desert or maybe Asteroid Gay variant. Hera Big. And hearts. Oh my gosh, a bomb farm! Yay! 
and a heart. This is a great cave to see early. It's a very annoying cave to see late. <laughs> so P Train will get himself at least up to nine bombs. I don't know if you go back in for a tenth. Yeah, he's just gonna save and quit. Probably gonna do Sank right now. Get that that hair a big key. Not even check on the two West Dark Death Mountain checks. That's a curious. I mean, I know you're out of logic, but if you suddenly get a lamp, those two checks are in logic with or without Pearl. Oh, hey, oh. hey look, he got the 50 50 bomb. Oh, oh, finally, finally, P Train with nine bombs gets a 50 50 bomb. We have a runner up to 10 bombs, everybody. Without buying them. All right, where are we going? Is this the castle? No, this is Sick Kid. We have a bottle. We're gonna go to Sick Kid. And we're gonna get more money. But hey, we can go to Zora now, out of logic. Hey, Petra, and I presume we're heading south from your house. So, I believe that leaves the well behind Aga 2. Because the game hates us. Not wrong. <laughs> So we have the best drop down behind the two worst locations in the game. Thank you. Yep. All right, both runners are setting south of um, Link's house. Now, well, I guess B-Train has a, a little more of a reason to go east towards Eastern. Yeah, he hasn't done any of this. He knows about the connector, but that's about it. Yeah, I am surprised he isn't doing back of escape first, since that's just a save and quit to sank. So p with a slight advantage of saving Gary, so he does have that save and quit into Kakariko. And he's got the save and quit back to the mountain anytime he wants to go there, which is also nice. Wait, was that Samaria? Uh, uh, on the on the Lake Hylia Island? I did not see. Chad, did you see what's on the no, island? That was Red 20, okay. Oh, okay. I, I, the Scalper I, I, Tracker. The trackers always see these things better than we do, so. They do. That's why they're the MVPs. I think the only thing we found in Eastern was a pod small. I mean, that gives gets you like twice as many checks in pod when we go there. Now, most of them not in logic, but not necessarily going to care about that. Other than to keep track of it. Well, judging from what P-Train found up on the mountain, there really wasn't anything terrible up there. So you got to assume there's something like a moon pearl with our dark world access over here. Or in desert area. Yeah, we may be forced, like Great Corvid already uh, conceding to going and checking these areas without gloves. Um, I try to wait for gloves, but sometimes the game just says no. You're doing it. And we find well, desert's got a got a chest we can open. That was a smith at Ice Ride Cave. That's a pretty nasty location unless you get a flu. Yeah. All right, what's our one item in Eastern here? Also, front of escape is completely in logic. We have the small key. Oh, it's not some mushroom. <laughs> Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Oh, do we have a small key to Hyrule Castle? We do have a small key to Hyrule Castle. Okay, so yeah, the front three are in logic. Pretty red game. Everything. Deeply. Yeah, everything but Dark Cross is in logic. Uh, and we have a fire rod, so would would, would actually surprise me if the runners didn't do it anyway when they got back to that area. Oh, look! Floating island. Oh, one of those ones that you're like, do I drop? I mean... You, your other choice is to go back in and check the other desert connector, which isn't a bad choice, necessarily. That was ether for turtle rocket entrance. And there's that hair of big key for Petring. Orling Brothers East um, up there. So two more entrances. They break carpet almost saving quit. We still have not seen Hammer Peg entrance. So oh, hi, <laughs> that's, that's I hi That's I mean, we need to do this at some point, but preferably we'll do it with a weapon. <laughs> Okay, so we haven't seen uh, what's at Desert East yet. Uh, but otherwise, we do need maybe Desert Area? What else are we doing? I think it's Hyrule Castle Front. I think it's Front of Escape. 
I'm not sure P-Train has seen the front of Hyrule Castle yet. And Greg Corford, when he got there, didn't have- I don't think he has the, the castle- the, the uh, Hyrule Castle small yet. Wait, is that out of logic on the mountain? Of course, it might have been out of logic on the mountain, but you know, it could be like a lamp in the first chest, that's a thing. It's true. <laughs> and then the mountain becomes completely logical. Right, oh, so there's great. Swamp. Okay, Swamp is at the fortune teller. It's great, Carbon. Going back to uh, the Pack Rico. To answer a question in chat, yes, we did have a runner track ticket. It was fifty dollars. Oh, there's some bombs at the Lost Woods uh, mushroom spot. Yeah, Thanks, uh, he's got ten now, so. <laughs> All right, good. Corvid gonna do mini Moldorm cave. Hopefully, the Moldorms behave. See there. that look? I, okay, I, I, I don't know. It looked the same, or or similar enough. Oh now my that gosh. one looked like it should have been good too, but that that I've seen happen before. <laughs> On arms, please. Oh right, we have a mushroom. Well, Gray Corvid has a mushroom. So that we've just found the potion shop. So that's a, a location that's open to us. That mushroom was in desert, so yeah, ni nice chain you have to follow to get that item. Yeah, correct. Petrin has not gone south at all yet. Oh, look at this! That fire run. I mean, this there, isn't logic. There we have three, a fire rod. <laughs> there are three logical checks here right now. I mean. I can't tell you how many times I've had exactly mirror in uh, in the ice tea room, so... Well, we actually have a small key. There could be four logical checks here. Well, the right side is never in logic without the hookshot, but we can check it. Oh, we have two small keys now. Thanks, game. Okay, he just wants to check the first, dun first chest. I, I can respect that. Ooh, I don't know. It really doesn't take a long time to get through uh, with no hammer yump, or not hammer yump, pardon me, with no, uh, no ice DJ. Breaker. Yeah, or icebreaker even. Like, it doesn't. Well, I would, yeah, I wouldn't. Like, if I were to go on in that, I, there's no way I'm, I'm ice palace bomb jumping. No glove, no hammer, no yeah. weapon to back up my fire rod shots on cold stare. I mean, it's just, you're, you're just checking the chest at that point. I saw someone recently do the same thing. They found the glove and hammer and ice. It was the funniest I mean, thing. it happens. It's not like it can't happen. Uh, we had a seed this week where the runners simultaneously opened up first, first uh, chess in Link's house and sank, and one of them got a hook shot, one of them got a boot, but got a boots. <laughs> you know? It's kind of simultaneous. It, it was quite amazing, and I was very jealous of them. Oh, hey, we'll know whether it's pendant or crystal when we find hair that we can complete except for the basement. Oh, you know it's a pendant. Well, we can. Well, no, we can't complete because we don't have a weapon. I think it's your early big key. You know it's a pendant. I mean, that kind of goes for a lot of dungeons. <laughs> but yeah, you're you're not wrong. I mean, what it'll do is just not give us a weapon to kill Moldorm with for like an hour, and then then it'll be a crystal. But we don't wish that in the runner, so never. SG Chat does. Yeah. But like, go do the cruelest thing possible, please. Nice bomb set up from P Train there. Good room. Frank Harvard just saying no, just, just talk to my fire rod, it's fine. Yeah, uh, he's got a little had a little more magic entering. Looks like they have about the same ma magic going into the ball and chain guard, so I imagine we'll see two fire rod shots to finish it off and that way uh you can just avoid the green guard to take the death warp. Actually, I think Ray Corvid's already seen where these connect to, so probably not going to actually see him. He might just save and quit. Petrian hasn't checked the connections yet, so he's probably going to get a death warp. Ray Corvid decided to save the magic. 
Uh, yeah, Hyrule Castle is not the uh, answer. It it sure isn't. Although with the fire rod feature, you might also do uh, dark cross first. Although with only one shot, that's not ideal. If if he even has one shot, I'm not sure he does. Looks like one shot. I mean, you can do this without using lighting the torch. It's not like he can't. Well, at least it's not a dark connector Hyrule Castle from this area, so... Yeah. Those uh, rats and ropes, oh my gosh. Two hearts of damage if you go through here from a dark uh, connector. Yeah, rats become crickets in the dark, and crickets become rats uh, in Thieves Town in, in the light world. And they squeak! <laughs> they do, don't they? <laughs> it's adorable, the crickets just like move around, they squeak. Okay, okay, well, there's that last fire rod shot for, uh, for Petering. It's like, Great Corbett has one oh, more shot. Oh, didn't quite make it. <laughs> and that would have helped to make it. Uh, blue mail in the, in the chest. Well, not detrimental if Petering decides to skip it, but not great. Early blue mail is is kind of nice. I mean, it kind of messes up your death warps too, but... Watch the bunny glide over because of the dark connector there. Did we ever see the dam from Great Corbett, or did they just go straight from um, Mini Mold Armies? I don't know. GT small key. P Train's gonna do at least a few of these checks. I do like getting, you know, trying to do some of these, like especially this one. Try and get it out of the way and hope that it's nothing or it's uh, that it's there's something just laying on the floor here. That's true. We uh, have seen... uh, that is it is something and it's not just laying on the floor. That's unfortunate. We saw a checkerboard, but uh you could either get a connector that you need to take or uh what? Um Hammer pegs, I think, could show up, and that is a freestanding item. Yeah, there's there's a few. There's the the uh, NPC uh, of Hype Cave is another one. That's a that's quite the gotcha. Oh, John. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great Corbin making his way up to the Autologic Mountain, and we find the front of Turtle Rock, which we can't even bunny revive for, even if we have the Candace of Samara, because there's nothing to kill you. Meanwhile, Grey Corbett does find their way up Death Mountain. <laughs> also, uh, Spec Rock from the bottom is another freestanding item. Room. And P Train says, I've seen two locations I already have to come back to. I'm done. <laughs> Technically, third location, but if TR is not, not so bad because, like, you need other things beyond the Moon Pearl to be able to do that. Uh, TR, can't you walk off the ledge? Yeah, if you can pick up the pot. Uh, bunnies can't lift pots. No, not even if you... Uh, if you use a mirror to get into TR, you still can't lift pots. Yeah, the mirror thing lets you shoot sword beams and lets you uh, open chests. So Petrine gonna go for this blue mail one more time. Uh, this time has zero magic. But lots of help. So our logical answer looks to be either bunny walking or maybe the dam west towards desert. One of those yeah, entrances. Yeah, we still have we still have the west entrances. And just like P-Train, Ray Corbett finds the bomb farm with zero bombs. <laughs> Yay, he got it. <laughs> and he's like, I mean, um, the answer I'm... could still be ice. That's true. I mean, I, I get why P-Train didn't continue in ice, but there are more in logic checks there.
Oh, okay, Corvid is gonna check East Dark Death Mountain. Is that a beaver? <laughs> or a squirrel, maybe? And a lot of the fun things with some of these uh, alternate sprites are is not just the regular uh, sprite. It's things like the swimming sprite or the uh, the bunny sprite. And the fun fact about P Train sprite on the left there, uh, P Train wanted to make a sprite that was completely immovable. Okay, so confirm that Grey Carpet did not check the damn entrance because that's King of Mario. Which, if we had a Moon Pearl, would open up a check in Turtle Rock. Uh, but the game doesn't allow you to make an immovable sprite, so he kind of stuck with making a bobblehead sprite, where the head moves but the body stays still. There we go. This is probably our answer, but he's going to go ahead and check uh, a Gene Escape first. A Gene Escape. Yeah, so apparently Bob Ross had a pet squirrel. And therefore, this is probably a squirrel. Okay. I am not up on my Bob Ross lore. But thankfully, we have people in chat who are. Me either. Thank you, SG Chat. We appreciate it. Not a huge fan of scouting the desert ledge when I don't have boots, but we did find out it's 20 rupees, so when we get over there, we just don't have to care about the item. Ah. Double, uh. Yeah, well, we're gonna need to get that big key at some point. All right, so P Train, assuming progression is via connector, not from Super Bunny. Yeah, I mean, I, I get this. You want to do this now because you're here, but Super Bunny has two items. Kind of like that better. And we do find the mire area, which would be great if we had a mirror or a moon pearl. Double ether. Now oh, that's a mushroom turn in 50 bucks. Not the mushroom. Oh, this could be logic. Yeah, because if if the Oh god, can you Oh, this is so bad. He's um, got he's got a blue mail. Should he's be got okay. blue mail, so this is only gonna do half a heart of damage each hit. But like you're gonna say, if this goes out light world. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It is light world. And also one less check we have to do, because uh that is the mirror spot on the top of uh bumper ledge. Yeah, we know where Bumper goes, so we can now ignore that. Also, two heart pots here will make this better. He's only got four bombs, which is not ideal. He's gonna buy more bombs. I think that's smart. Maybe even buy a heart. Yeah, I could buy a heart here, too. Sure, probably will. You know, get up to, getting up to four hearts, I think, is really smart. Go ahead and do that, because you'll get the two in the pot. It looks like Great Carpet not far behind. However, if he does take this, this will put off Super Bunny, or uh, I should say Paradox. Uh, yeah, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have a decision to make. Ooh, nice hook shot. Well, now the mini Moldorms are easy to kill. <laughs> Thanks, game. Man, Petrian perhaps questioning his life choices because he could have checked that first with the backup of the bomb shop. But this is, yeah, it's not that big a deal. Oh, we have magic now. Piece of heart, rupees, a compass. Game, don't do this to us. A bottle, a map. It's a done. It's done it to us, Tracy. I mean, we had a, we got a hook shot. Like, <laughs> it's not terrible. Uh, but what does the hook shot logically do for us right now? Uh, illogically, it gets us the others to East Death Mountain. Oh, hey, look, it logically gets us to the to the mountain. <laughs> It's not the- oh god, oh. Okay, boots okay. sitting on a floating island. They, they want a mirror. Uh, meanwhile, Grey Corvid is gonna go ahead and take Super Bunny. Now, uh, Grey Corvid knows how, knows the connector to that. I don't believe Petrain has seen that connector. Oh hey, it's Pendant Pot with two small keys. So- Three logical checks? Yeah, I would I would just do all the things I can do in Pot right now. Because it's a pendant, and you maybe never have to come back if the items are in the back or something. Oh, hey, it's a moon pearl! Yay! Oh, we can, we can do, <laughs> behind zero small keys and a magic drop for Peach Ring, who's been yeah. without for a while. And let's see where Super Bunny takes us. And magic for Cray Corvus from the pot. Okay, 
Let's see if Patreon decides to put that red potion to use with the mimics, or maybe just knows how to flat out mimic them. Uh. Oh, that's unfortunate for Greg Corbin. Uh, ice rod. We got both our rods. Hey, with the, we, all we need is a big key and a small key. We can kill try <laughs> if we fall oh, and the entrance. Small details. Maybe a small key or two. I said a small key. I, I did not say the entrance, though, because oh, okay. we, we, right now our only Turtle Rock entrance is the front. I think we're going to use that bottle. So it looks like Ray Carpet is going to go right back to... or not. And I think we're just mimic clipping it for uh, Petrie not going to bother with the bottle. If you can do it fast enough, it's not, not too much. Not too bad. Uh, with the potion shop, not too bad. Okay, if you can do it that fast, just just mimic clip. Don't bother wasting your, your uh, potion. Do it. Well done, P-Train. Where's Greg Corbett going? I thought they already went up here. Yeah, he, he's been up here before. Those crabs are out for blood. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's going out to answer D is that guy. Yeah, that's a cape for P-Train. Which does nothing for us right now. Correct. And we're going to death warp and do more of the front. Well, actually, we're going to do the back. Oh, look, we found Tower of Hero. Out of East, uh, more, more logical mountain axis. And without a hammer, he doesn't have a choice to go anywhere but uh, this way. And the uh, Great Corbett did elect to go and go straight to Dark World and get some entrances done. One heart. It'll be interesting to see. If he doesn't rescue Gary before dying, then that will be an instant way back to your house. And if if he does die after picking him up, well, then you're just stuck there until you get out. Our container. See if we have anything else good behind four pod small keys. All right, what what is our next hammer, any glove, or mirror? Okay, get your votes in. Which item will we acquire first? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Podge is full of love. You got money out of it too, because you know there's always money here. Not gonna. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. I think he's setting up the death warp for later, but gosh, or maybe he's just death warping. I don't think he maybe isn't gonna do these other checks. Yeah, you're right. He's okay, just he is. Death warp, yeah. I, I, I hate doing this without a, at least a sword. I mean, Hookshot's not the worst, so it's probably going to use that. Could also use the cane, the way, like, get, you saw Great Corvid using the cane to get around uh, the uh, old man rescue cave. Or you could just know exactly where he's going that well that, well, please don't die again on me. think he's got to cape it up. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, never mind. Okay, uh, well. Or he's going to just miss the item for now. Yeah, that, uh... See you later, big, uh, or the, what was it, the bomb chest? The upper left chest? Whatever, yeah, whatever the other <laughs> dark maze chest was. Oh, hi, Thieves Town. So we can do four items here much more easily. All of them in logic. But it's still gonna re result in the death warp unless we find a mirror. This is an easy death warp. Even on blue mail, the Zazak still do a harder damage, so it's not so bad. Alright, Great Corvid is on the path to that pearl. Yeah, hopefully he remembers the uh like it is kind of a gotcha. Now, I mean these guys play cross keys all the time and yeah, know this logic. But it's one of, you know, for the newer Krosky's run, that, that logic that says, if I enter this cave from the Dark World, and we didn't see Mimic Cave there, but P-Train just followed the connectors. 
um, that logic that says if you open enter Paradox Cave from the Dark World, but there's another connector you can get to uh, in the Light World. Um, that, yeah, that's just one of those gotchas that you gotta know. Oh, <laughs> Eastern Palace, okay. Well, this won't have... Even if we didn't know where the Moon Pearl was, we would know that it's not here. But I think he's gonna do it anyway. Well, from our knowledge, we know it's logical. And there are three checks yeah. here in logic, I guess. Yep, there sure are. Uh, combined, the runners have it in logic. <laughs> oh, look, it's right. Barbara's. Did we get anything? We didn't really get anything in... Easter, in, uh, sorry, in uh, Thieves Town, did we? I don't think so. We got a map to Desert and Hookshot Cave. A small key to Turtle Rock. A big key to Ice Palace. Good to have that before we have to go back in there. And a heart can. Oh, sand cart. And we didn't get a full uh, big key to Swan Palace out of First Jack Eastern. Oh, yay. <laughs> I mean, you'd rather have that before you go into Swamp Palace than not. Just like the Ice Key. Because the Ice Key at least is logical. Okay, we can <laughs> So, Peach right now has a, a usable... I, I imagine he does the TR checks here? With Probably. the Fire Rod? It's not so bad. Probably a lot and of then... checks. And, oh. and more TR checks? Yeah, gonna be able to get five. Yeah, this isn't logic, so we have a cape. Uh, but the cape's not logic about a bow. Mm, that's uh, good point. <laughs> so laser bridge is bow locked. That's fun. Until we find, you know, three shields or or uh, or blue king. Okay, powder's nice. We could turn that in. And a compass. Big key to Turtle Rock over on Great Corbett's side. So all we need to do is... Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, we don't have eight yet. So we can't kill Trinex yet. Even combined. Because we have no weapons for round two. And not enough magic for round one. For phase one, phase two. So Eastern just full of big keys. Why not? Also, congratulations to Petrin on, on successfully navigating the easiest dark room of the game. <laughs> Hold up. And he's just going to keep on going. I mean, this makes sense because uh, you're already here. The other option is just to go through the, uh, the west uh, entrance, which we saw. Yeah, and you're saving yourself uh, some time by doing this, honestly. Yeah, because you have to walk all the way back there, and then you have to walk in. So this is definitely faster from where he's at. Plus, he still got the lava chest, chain chop. Lava chest is four key lock, but you got a fire rod. You're just doing it. Okay, last item in Eastern that we can get is a map to Thieves Town. So when Greg Corvid finds Thieves Town, which he's going to find relatively soon, he'll know whether it's a pendant or a crystal. And when he finds CR East, he can get the Eastern, uh, the, the big chest to it, I should say. Nothing behind the four, spot, four Turtle Rock Smalls. No surprise. Alright, finally Paradox Cave for Grey Corvid, doing this in a completely different order than p -Train did. But getting a couple of big keys out of it, so not too bad. Ooh, that was close. Blue Metal Chain Chop still hits you for, I think, three or two or three health. Alright, really not much. Just the powder in Turtle Rock that we were able to get. Good use of that, Samaria. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> that head. I think it's the sword motion that we're seeing there. Okay, now we're going to find out what's the other end of, of Hookshot Cave. Alright, so Great Corvid about to find Hookshot. Not much else here. He'll be healthier when he's done. True. He's already got another heart.
And of course we find, oh, this is such a bad spot for this to have to come back to unless the mirror is right here. And it's the day of my gosh. Nope, just red mail. Which, I mean, once we get mirror, that'll be nice. And we're gonna get mirror because those boots are hard required because Ga Ganon is behind the lumberjack. And the boots are behind the mirror. <laughs> he trained us. Like, yeah, I'm done. Can't do anything else here. That was quite the chain of connectors that he followed. And Grey Corbett's about to do the same thing. And he's going to see that those boots. He knows how to get to that spot, but does, of course, we still don't have a mirror, so can't do anything with it. And Petrian's going to see what the item was. It's a small key. Two pod. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. Pendant pod, small key. Okay, so we didn't discuss this before, but if you drop down left side at the top of Death Mountain, oh my gosh. You miss out on pod, you ruin pearl. Yeah. So if you go if you go spiral, oh my gosh. And Petrian is going to take this super bunny connector, which means he's going to find uh, the dark shopping mall, which you know he'll be able to at least do one. I don't remember what the which hole this comes out of. It came came out of the bomb wall, I think. I think Great Corp was able to check exactly what yeah, Petrian's going like to do. Yeah. That sounds right. Oh no, this seed's not that trolly. Oh, no, we haven't we haven't gotten anywhere close yet. Oh, oh, it's the 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 rock. I stand corrected. That's that's better. This is an extra thing that featuring gets to check for absolutely nothing. But at least he looks at that and goes, "Hey, we're not coming back to Dark Shop Mall unless we need a spike yeah cave. a spike cave. We have nothing. We have." No hammer, no glove. So I figure P-Train either heads back over to Meyer area or heads back just to Dark World proper. We do have a connector that'll take us up to the bumper ledge. He knows of at least two item caves that he saw before he gave up because... You know, it, I don't know about him, and I don't know about you, but I when I start scouting items without the Moon Pearl like that, um, and I start seeing caves that I know I have to come back to, I pale quicker than if I don't. It's like, oh, hey, I can mark that off, never have to come back here again. Let's just keep going, let's keep going. <laughs> right. It's like by your third item cave, you're like, no, no, no I'm, I'm done. done. I'm done. <laughs> uh, we did get a good uh, mimic clip from Great Carbon as well. Okay, gonna get what is this? Front of TR, I think. No, wait, that no, front was. Front of TR is at Dark Sank. This yeah. was something else. Oh, right, the uh, graveyard ledge. We get to refill our bombs, too. Just a piece of heart. Oh, we'll take it. Yeah, I feel like that's just a face plant. Like, didn't quite figure out what it was right away. I mean, I don't fault anyone for taking extra heart pieces, but I just know most people don't. We have one. Oh, we can get three items here in Turtle Rock. All right, Fire Rod. And Hookshot makes it easier, too. Yeah, in fact, the only things we can't get in Turtle Rock are Trinex and the big chest. Now, Petrian doesn't have that big key anyway. For Trinex to be in logic, with the, you know, not counting small keys, because Trinex, of course, is behind four small keys. Uh, Petra needs either a hammer, a master sword, or I think it's like four. Well, he still needs some sort of weapon. With master sword, you can do it if you have enough magic. So it's like, I think it's like four magic refills. So either through bottles or, you know, half half the number of bottles with uh, half magic. 
Yeah, sounds right. There is some amount of magic available, because you can kill the heads with just the rods. Oh, red mail. Yeah, red mail doing its thing. Shovel! Small key to Ganon's tower. Alright, we'll see if Greg Corvid lives through his entire adventure in the Dark Maze here. Mm. Having trouble setting up the hammer jump to begin with. The scene's still not giving us a lot to go on at this point. It really isn't. I think it was... I want to say Ice Rod Cave was the, was the uh, Curiosity Shop location. We'll get an item there, and then we'll see Village of Outcast proper. We barely got that setup done, but well done on Great Corbett's side. A bow! Oh, hey, the uh, the the right side uh, pot stuffs in Logic now. Powders in Logic. Yeah, pow. Yeah, and the the bow is sorry. The capes in Logic. <laughs> P Train finds a an Eastern big key. He might get to single to Eastern. Wouldn't that be amazing? We still don't know if we actually need a bow other than logically. Until That's we know true. what Eastern is. Oh, look, it's oh. the other bow! <laughs> Speaking of bows, okay. Well, there's a good chance that uh, P-Train doesn't get silvers. I, I wouldn't say guaranteed, because there's, there's there's stuff left in pod. Oh, that's great. Krosky's doing what it does. I mean, that's definitely the silvers. The the bow that Petrain has is completely in logic. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the bow that Greg Corbett has is behind six pod smalls, of which we have two. No, three. Yeah, there's a third one that he doesn't have yet. Waiting for the hand. Time to get the nothing out of Thieves Town. Oh, hey, the good layout of Skull Woods. It exists? My oh, gosh. We could steal some money, but we already have a uh, thousand plus rupees, so we're not going to steal money. Eh, not 20 at a time. We got plenty of money for Zora, big game, pod, we're fine. We could buy some potions. Yeah, I mean, we're fine. Great Carver just hoping to pull a mirror out of here somewhere. I mean, I mean they, they're part. both looking for a mirror, but Greg Corbin maybe a little, just a little bit more so since he knows that connector already. Yeah. But you know, as soon as Petrain gets it, he'll be searching connectors. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so to address a, a question in chat, so in cross keys, um, Items don't change the key logic, so uh, the, the hammer being in Dark Maze doesn't change the number of keys. Um, it'll always be six pods. The, the six key locked locations in pod are always six key locked. Uh, Ice Palace right side is always uh, hookshot locked, for instance. Uh, even if you have the small keys and all, anything else you need to get there. So, yeah, it's just the logic's just slightly different. It's a little more restrictive um, in cross keys. Just like uh, the really weird one, where Mothula is locked by three Skull Small Keys. That's right, it's locked by the Moon Pearl, because the, the last pot, the, sorry, the last Skull with Small Key is always in the pinball chest. Yeah, so you're never going to see a uh, Moon Pearl on Mothula in this mode. And I once again pray that they never change that, because drop, you know, random drop-downs for Skull Woods. Oh hey, you're in the pinball room, you're just stuck, save and quit, you're done. <laughs> Not fun. And here's the, uh, here's Laser Bridge for Grey Corbin. 
won't get an advantage to having that that TR big key because one we again don't have the items to actually kill Trinex yet, and two the the there is no east entrance over here. The only advantage Great Corbett could get is finding that east entrance, getting something out of that big key chest or big chest, I should say. Yeah, we're, we don't know where. Yeah, that eastern entrance could show up, but yeah, it's not over here. Uh, no, there, skull was yeah, skull was green pendant. There's a CT small in the back of uh, Saha set. That's needed. We need that. Uh, and for anyone just joining us, these two teams are battling it out for our first place in their divisions. Uh, Underachievers with eight wins. Uh, BNH, the LTTP or the LTTPR team, team is uh, at seven. So close, close division. And to answer what's on Lumberjack, Ganon is on Lumberjack. So we will need to do, we will need to get the mirror to get the boots that are sitting on Floating Island. And we will, we do need both those Castle Tower Smalls. And don't forget to give these two runners a follow. It's been almost an hour. If they're putting on a great show, you can see how great they are at this game. Uh, while you're at it, give my co-com Tracy a follow. She does a lot of uh, cross keys as well and some other things. Uh, and uh, our tracker, Pixcaliber123, also doing a fantastic job today. And of course, Lana, also a great follow, also does a lot of cross keys. And let's see what the dig game has for us. We're a squirrel again. There we go. Just 20 rupees. Yeah, chat asking, do we know this because the we see the room under Ganon? Yes, we can see the room under Ganon. Yeah, it's that room that you can fall in when you're fighting Ganon. Uh, it is readily viewable. Oh, there's a big key. <laughs> uh. Big key to pot. I mean, you know, it could get P-Train those silvers. I don't think he goes back in until he has a few more small keys, but... Uh, great card, but kind of free-thinking decisions there, realizing I don't have a small key. We're gonna, we're gonna go to Death Warp. we've seen all our dark caves now. So none of them are going to be useful. That room certainly isn't useful. I always wonder why that, that particular room is more colorful than all the other ones in Kakariko. Good question. It's a connector. Are we gonna go through it now or we're gonna wait? Nope, we're gonna go through it now. I'm a little surprised we don't do the other check first, but. We've already seen the Eastern side from uh, Gray Corvid. Right. But there's a, there's the dark, well, there's the swamp entrance. That's what I was expecting to see first. Oh. So P-Train, probably gonna go check that swamp entrance and then maybe go back to this. Because he hasn't done that drop down yet. Oh, it's right, like nothing Ray here. Car Ray Corbin gonna check the dam drain. Yeah, we saw that on P train side. I forget what it was. Ah, oh, just a small key. Was this the third pod small key? Might have been. Yeah, it is that, yeah, that pod three that Petrian already has.
Looks like Grey Corvid probably gonna head over to Hyrule Castle so he can get to the Dark World and do Village of Outcasts, etc. Yeah, you came out of that cave, Petrie. Uh, I say this as if I've never done that before. One of those modes. You know, chat mes mentioning Ice Palace and... Yeah, Ice Palace is still a thing. Also, Petrie's gonna get the two items out of Castle Tower. The second one's not in logic, but we don't care. Other than to... Yeah, I'm not even sure if there's anything to get to. I mean, we need the second Castle Tower small anyway. Those guards were just not well behaved there. Alright, just a piece of heart. And what do we get behind the lamp? Check. Okay, so... This is a pretty easy... This is, room's got torches. It's pretty easy if you can light the torch. It's not yeah. too bad even if you can't light the torch. Yep, just down, left, up, left, down, left, up. Uh, but otherwise, Great Corbett's about to get those servers. Just a heart container. We're gonna save and quit out of that. Not sure Petrian has much left other than going back to the Meyer area or going to the uh, Ice Rod Cave area to get Eastern to uh yeah to get the Desert Palace. That's what's over there. So Eastern over at the Meyer area. There's gotta be something else though because we've seen those on Great Corvette's side. Oh, he's got a shovel. He's gonna check the shovel first. I like this. It's like, the shovel or TR Big? How many, I mean, or maybe Ice Palace? How many answers I mean, do we have left? Yeah, TR Big doesn't do anything for us yet. Don't we have TR East? Do we have TR East? That I mean, I, I, I won't swear to anything, because I've seen, you know, after the number of seeds I've called this week. Um... I remember you uh, saying that last week. You're like, it's going to be Krusky this week. I'm going to be common like crazy. That's right. It's my favorite mode. Oh, we're going back to ice. Okay, I like it. A little bit more gear, but not much. We still don't have a good weapon. I mean, I honestly, the, the hook shot helps a lot with the pen gators. And without, again, I don't see him uh, hitting. I don't think you're going to gonna uh, bomb jump here without it without at least one of hammer or glove uh the odds of both showing up oh wait we have kane we're just gonna do this the the uh we're just gonna do the cheaty way the easy way <laughs> yeah that's not gonna work well maybe it will Okay, no, it's not my down. That I don't think I've ever seen Icebreaker done quite this way. At all. But it worked! Fair enough. The chat saying swordless after one hour feels bad. How about swordless after two hours? Been there, done that. Yep, and sure have. <laughs> four swords in 15 minutes. I, I once had a seed where I was, I don't remember when I got the the fighter sword, but like two hours in I found Thieves Town and had my other three swords. Wowza. And there was a, uh, a, a, a daily seed where three of the swords be were behind seven crystals at po and pod at, hey look, a sword. Uh, seven crystals and pod at the uh, GT entrance. Two of them actually in pod, one of them just behind it, but... <laughs> ah, see, there's our progression. We got flippers now. A sword and flipper is a nice balance. Just don't leave after the first check, it's fine. I mean, um, I don't... Can you blame him for leaving no, after the first not, check? I can't. I... Not really. It's... You, the chances with what he had available at the time of getting what you need from here is pretty slim. Yeah. Like, I think the only way you feel bad for mirrors is if you get a mirror. Just bombs. But I think we're going to see some flippers checks. Oh, they're very quick. May as well. Can't believe we actually got a weapon, even if it's a stick. 
I mean, I'll take a fighter sword in this situation. Heck, we could, well, we're, we're a little closer. We're not really closer to killing Trinex because you can't use the sword to da the fighter sword to damage Trinex in the first round, in the first phase. I mean, you could do spins, but oh my god, that sounds like a horrible, horrible thing. It's not in logic. For good reason. <laughs> But now we can do it because we have a hammer. Oh look, a hammer! Just Im imagine, oh. imagine if you just fake flippered. Just, just fake flipper. That's imagine, it. Imagine, Tracy. Just fake, flipper. just fake. Yeah, I, I do that. You know, it's very conditional. I don't usually do the fake flipper here. I'm not sure I would have done it in this seed. I, I, I'd hate it more if I didn't do the exact same thing. Just weeks ago, I think it was the exact same thing. I think I found flippers around an hour. Do flipper mm -hmm. checks and hello, hammer on George the hobo. It's oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, he still hasn't gotten ice red gate barrier. Yeah, this is new for P train, so he's gonna find desert, which means he'll f learn how to get to. Yeah, you still can't pick that up. So he can learn about the boots. And the mushroom, which we know is nothing, but... He doesn't know that. Well, P -train Did not made... see that there were 20 rupees on the torch for, so we don't have to come back to that. Yeah. P-Train's going to go and definitely push these connectors, though, because, again, he still wants to know where to get boots when he yep. finds the mirror. Yep, absolutely. I don't remember if it was east or west, though, that took you here. I think it was east that goes out where he wants. Nope, west, okay. Okay, there it is, west. It's funny when I when I see people jump jump into a cross keys race and they say must be a tough seed no bosses no no items I mean cross keys like the first third no maybe not quite third no. but the first hour is a lot of feeling out trying to figure out what your connectors are what your items are it's not unusual to have a seed where you've really done nothing up to this point uh, or seemingly nothing up to this point. Um, Exactly. And suddenly your progression comes yep. super fast. And you've got four dungeons cleared in 20 minutes. It generally does have one of the fastest go modes uh, in, uh, in Link to the Past. And by fast go modes, I mean you get your item, you finish a dungeon in five minutes later. You know, if you get your item five minutes later after you finish that last dungeon, you're done with the seed. Yeah. The biggest exception is when you have to do, when it's Vanilla Ganon and you haven't uh, climbed GT yet. Another thing this game has not given us is a lot of dungeon information. They haven't done a lot of map checks, but I don't remember seeing a lot of maps either. No, we really haven't gotten many. Oh, we're just missing one pendant, though. Okay, this time I think true. P Train's going to Zora. Well, let's well we'll do this check first, but yeah, we're we're getting to Zora here. And so far, we've seen a fortune teller. Yeah, Chad asking, is Pyramid open by default in cross keys? It is not. So while it is fast Ganon in the sense that you don't actually have to climb GT in this particular version of this mode, uh, if Ganon is sitting there behind the pyramid, 
uh, you have to you'll you would have to beat GT. And same thing for in this seed. If we want to go to the well, which is what's behind there, we have to beat Aga too. You could set it to set it up so that you have to beat uh, Ganon's Tower regardless. Typically, you only see that happen in uh, mystery seeds. <laughs> All right, where are we going now? Let's see, P train starting at Sa at. Uh, Kakariko, Gray Corvid's finishing up his route in the Dark World. Oh, the Slippers get P-Train access to, to Eastern Dark World, so that's probably where he's headed right now. One check swamp too. Right, that's right, because we have pulled the dam and we know where swamp is. Hey, Carver, do you know where this goes? I think you just realized. All right, looks like P-Train in the fast track towards Grumpy Fish in East Dark World. Yeah, I think this is this. I think this is the right call for him. I mean, he still has more stuff that he hasn't done in the Meyer area. Uh, he doesn't know it, but there's an Eastern Palace there. But he also doesn't know it that uh, if he could manage to get the Eastern Big Key, just clear it in one go. What are we missing? We're missing Desert North, Tower of Hera, and Skull North? Yep. Oh, have we seen Meyer? I don't think we've oh, seen Meyer either. Oh, yeah, Meyer too. Yeah, you're right. So there's still a lot of entrances we need to find. Dark Potion Shop gives us a small key to Skull Woods. Not not super useful. No gloves, so no catfish. Catfish could end up being severely orphaned. I mean, it is going to be severely orphaned. We'll see if we ever get back to it. Dun, dun, dun. But we're going to Pyramid, where our mirror may lie. We'll see. That would be amazing. <laughs> I would give us three entrances up there and give us our boots. I'm not even sure I would do the entrances if I found the mirror there. I might just book it to the connector. Now that both runners know where the connector is to get to the floating island where our boots are sitting. Well, the, worst, the light world version. The worst part is if it was the mirror, Grey Carver could not check the, uh, which is not. Uh, Grey Carver would not be able to check uh, Castle Tower Main. Right. Well, no, he, he could. Not magic. Oh, well. You mean P-Train. P-Train is I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get the bat check. Well, that's in logic. That's another thing. It's a small key to Meyer. I mean, logically, Meyer small. I mean, Smalls have logic to them. And one Meyer really Small, I will them. take. One makes uh, routing Meyer a little easier. So, yeah, uh, just to, to add to the point in chat, GT location is behind Seven Crystals. Now, it might just be a shop. Uh, GT itself is wherever it is, and we can just enter it when we see it. There's, there's, there's a big, a big key there. P train, P train, go back in. P train, P train. I swear there was something on that. Maybe he wants to go to Meyer and is just going to do it all at once. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he there just is, realized. There is. Okay. <laughs> that was that was quite the about face. <laughs> well, he knows where it connects to. It's like that's the only reason why he'd skip it. But oh my gosh. I mean, he. I mean, it wouldn't have been completely unreasonable to to come back, but walking back from Pod is annoying. And what if you get distracted? Yeah. I see, I he... thought there was a big key here. 
I think he heard us from 10 minutes ago. I know, right? Through time and space. Uh, ah, not even a useful... I mean, it's one item. It's a fetch quest. Oh, game! There's no other reason to go to that region right now. I mean, the only reason we'll ever go back to that, re to that region other than the big chest would be to check ped. Not wrong. Now, it's not... I mean, it's... Not the bad woods, so it's not too bad to get back there if you want to check just the one item. But, like, that's all you're doing is you're going over there yeah. for the one item. You're, you're, I don't it's think a fetch quest. There's, like, no other entrances to No, check. you're not. I mean, I'm not going to say he's not going to ever do it, but, like, you're not rushing it. Yeah. He could, I don't think he's done bat yet. He could combine it with bat if the mirror decides to show up. Or when the mirror decides to show up, uh, assuming it's not there. Okay, Grey Carbon needs to go to ice. Yeah, that's the big thing he's missing. Get those flippers. He's gonna head head back over to the mire area, but I'm not sure what he's not done here because he he did the eastern stuff. Was there another item cave here that he couldn't do with, as a bunny? Um... See, when P Train was over here, he went straight to par to the entrance that turned out to be Paradox Cave and followed Paradox Cave and didn't do anything else. Or maybe he's just going back to that part. Yeah, just maybe going back to Paradox and maybe doing an extra pod check. We do have another small key. And the big key. But everything left in pot is six key locked. Yeah. I know. It's, it's yeah. Four I mean, six. Oh, no, they are all no, six. No, it's, it's all six. It? It's all six. Oh, we're going to check this entrance. And it's just 20 rupees. And <laughs> for a moment there. Oh, he's just taking the hearts. Okay. I'll take the health by 20. Featured back in Super Bunny. Where did this go? I forget. Uh, nowhere important because Great Corbett took this first. I think if if P Train hasn't been here, it's worth. Oh no, he did. No, he he's been here. Oh, magic. Maybe he just wants the magic refill. I don't think it might be more important though. This might have been the dark shopping mall area, but there's nothing new to do there. I don't think. So I think you're right. I don't think we found TR East yet. So. Yeah, <laughs> I think that was a miss mark. Maybe he thought this was the Meyer connector instead of the uh, instead of Spec Rock Cave, since they were so close to each other. So between the two runners, Tracy, we have what Skull Big and Swamp first check. Am I missing something? I, I don't think so. Oh wow, game, please. Now now P Train has other stuff he can do. He's gonna find Eastern relatively soon, which. Uh, but we know uh, that's gonna be great. We know there's nothing there. Yeah. Uh, Greg Corvin needs to go to ice. Get his flippers to do a bunch of stuff. Now, some and a lot sword. of that stuff he can do without. Sword. Yeah, and the sword. Yeah. yeah. Um, where is that? T oh, the TR big key was that it in Eastern? Yeah, it was in Eastern. Uh, so Greg Corvin got out of logic. This, uh, but but Trinex isn't in logic without more small keys. Like, it's doable for P-Train once he gets the big key, because he has the hammer now. I mean, maybe he just does it anyway, but... Ick. Oh, there's the one entrance in West Dark World now for P-Train. He does have that hammer uh, in, in Hill Track House. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. The one entrance, Skull Woods. So there is a reason to go in that area. Oh, Gray Corvid, can you get some hearts here in Castle Tower? And yeah, I think P Train does do the. Oh, oh, this is this is something we, that we couldn't do before. I forgot about Mimic Cape. We didn't see mm -hmm. it on P Train's side. Right, we did see it on Gray Corvid, but obviously, Bunny no, and yeah. no hammer. No hammer. Still doesn't have the hammer. And this wasn't the answer. And 
this should be Eastern right here for P-Train. And you're so low on things left to do, you're just doing it. Yeah, you're nowhere close to logical Trinex, but you could do it as a first dungeon. If I knew for sure the Turtle Rock was a crystal, I would absolutely do it. Um, with it, if I knew for sure it was a pendant, maybe not. Nope. Uh, if I thought it was, you know, if it was like like we're at right now, where I just don't know, I might still do it. I mean, if it is a pendant, if if you in this case finding out it's a pendant is knowledge, right? Because we know everything else. So if, if Turtle Rock, if Turtle Rock turned out to be a pendant, you you have all your dungeons now. You know exactly what you need. We're kind of getting to the point in the seed where both runners are thinking, okay, is my opponent putting the puzzle pieces together faster yeah. than me? Because I am not in good shape right now. Train just thinking, oh my gosh, if Great Corbett found this first, just death warp found a mirror in here, oh my goodness. Yeah, Great Corbett's going back in a pod. Okay, choosing big key chest as the six key lock we're looking at here. The, this is not the choice I'd make. I would go to the. I mean, maybe he resets. No, he's gonna save and quit. I don't yeah. know. If, harmless um, hallway with a big chest. I would have gone harmless hallway and big chest because I have the big key now. So I got two. Get two of them. Uh, plus, I never have to go back there again. And P-Train just gets his big keys out of Eastern. So, asking about uh, how many keys you need to clear pod. To full clear pod, you can do it on four keys if you don't open the middle door. And it's very, very rare where it would actually be to your advantage to, to make that, that make that play. Um, typically, if <laughs> if I if if I'm worried about a small key in a bad place, maybe right. If like Ped has a small key or something, uh, you're just going to open that door and and hope that there's nothing in the fifth. That also uh, implies that you're doing the hammer jump and that so to save the other key. Uh, which is common practice. Like, that's just what you do. Oh, you know what we're doing here for P-Train? We're gonna go TR West. Wait, no, we've seen TR. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, he's doing it! He's doing it! We're killing Trinex! Why not? Alright, Great Corbett's like, what, what do I do? I mean... Ice as your answer is pretty awful. It is. Just saying. We do know that's the path, but we just don't know if it's like if it's Skull Big Chest or probably the hammer entrance in, in Village Vowcast's shop. Yeah, of, of note, I don't believe P Train has any magic in his bottles. Uh, nice start to this fight. Honestly, Hammer Trinex is kind of a must must uh, have in your skill set in cross it keys. It is. You, you gotta be prepared. Like, you could get four very quick small keys, big key, your lamp, and mm -hmm. don't get a sword. You just got a hammer. And it's just, you gotta be prepared. I was gonna say, Petrin does have the red, red uh, bottle if he needs it, but he doesn't. 
With red mail, he's fine. This would be quite scary. This would have been scary with green mail. Unfortunately, just a boomerang. And what do we get? We do get a crystal. So, yay! Our first crystal is TR at 123.39. Let's go. Let's go. And it's not remotely in logic, but we'll take it. I mean, just can't use the blue boomerang now, you know. It's That's not a true. logical boomerang. Just just keep it in your pocket. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gray Corvid figuring out that it is Ice Palace. It must be the answer. And P Train heading towards the. Uh, the will, yeah, I think this will be Skullwood's big chest uh, plus the the one entrance. Maybe the one entrance first because that's where he's headed. Oh, Meyer, show yourself. <laughs> Or GT, just like Meyer or GT, just right here. Or neither. Okay. What even was that? He went out, left so quickly. It was just a fortune teller. Uh, yeah, I looked over a chat for a second. He was in and out in that time. At least Greg Corford is only only going to single dip this Ice Palace trip. Uh, P Train had already checked the first chest when he went back in. True. Gonna be able to double dip overall if there's a crystal, but you, you're kind of forced to, unless you can magically find a glove and sequence break both that and the hammer. And from what we've seen from P Train, it does not look like a glove is gonna be available without the hammer. But we're getting that skull big key or skull big chest. The small key. There okay, we're going right. swamp. We're there going swamp. That is we a thing we can do. We can direction we can swamp. Tracy, we have direction. Direction. That's all we ask, right? But <laughs> and it's even it's like not just a crystal. It's a red crystal. <laughs> we've got the big key. We've got the small key. We've got a hammer. And yeah, a this is a, this is a full clear swamp. I mean, I don't think you're even skipping left side of this. No, point. I don't think so. I think it just goes straight left and go to the back. So yeah, nice hard requires Skullwood's big key. Right. We were all whatever. disappointed when we saw oh it's just the Skullwood's big key. But whatever's here, it's gonna be required. A nice blue man or blue uh goo there. Yeah, it's a nice safety to have. Okay, so we're gonna get our sword here. What else are we gonna get, Tracy? You mean in swamp? <laughs> Oh, Great Corv is not getting anything else good, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, flippers. And then, I think the flippers are here, in the big chest. Yeah, and that's pretty much all that's here. And then it was, like, bombs or something in the in uh, ice tea. But in Swamp, we got one chest designated to the sword. But what else are we going to get? <laughs> Always a sword in the Swamp, you're just assuming, right? <laughs> um, How about a mirror or a glove? How about a, how about a mirror? Let's get those boots. These runners have been long enough, you're right, it's like 90 minutes by the time you get it. And for those of you who have missed it, we have a Lumberjack Ganon with us hard required boots. Um, we have, and we have boots on the floating island. I mean, chat talking about the gamble of skipping left side. I am a chronic left side skipper and I would do it in this case, so. Yeah, there's just like, you're just forfeiting an extra two and a half minutes. If you skip it, go to the back and there's nothing, and your answer is a glove left side. So that's just like, you know what, just just go. Even if and, you get nothing, it's a peace of mind. Yeah, and like I always say about left side swamp, there's there's no correct answer to doing it or not doing it. I have had all four iterations. Win for doing it, win for do not doing it. Win, lose for doing it, lose for not doing it. Like any, they're all on the table. Hey, Craig Petrain doesn't, yeah, Petrain doesn't know it. He's got a, a decent lead here. Craig Corbett got a hammer. All right, first chest left side, just 20 rupees. And then what else do we have? A small key to Turtle Rock. Okay, now I'd be cursing, because I don't need that. 
Oh, look, uh, we're slightly closer to logically being able to get that bloomerang and use it. I know, right? <laughs> I think it was 10 arrows in the in the lava chest. So, yeah, we're a little closer to being able to use those specific 10 arrows that in we've kind of put aside just to wait for the fourth uh, TR small key. And technically, P-Train already used the bloomerang to hit the switch here, so and have to deduct like two points. <laughs> Ray Corbett's gonna get the whole lot of nothing from Zora area. Small key to Thieves Town. We like having that before the big key. And we got the hammer, so yay. Ah, there's a mirror. There's our boots. We found them, everybody. Yeah, now you, you finish Swamp first. It'd be really tempting to leave, go get your boots and come back, but that's not gonna that's not saving you time. Oh my gosh, Tracy, yeah, that would be hilarious. <laughs> It would be hilarious. You're just but... so sidetracked. You're like, boots! And then you, you mirror out. You're like, <laughs> what did I just do? Now, uh, it is the first thing you're going to do after this, at least if you're petrain. Oh, yeah. When you got a desert, you just, you're just there. I mean, what, what do you have to do? Go down to Ice Ride Cave Area, the Ice desert. Ride Cave Area, yep. And a big key. Oh, actually, that works out really nicely. We can pick up the big chest while we're at it. Just give us the desert small on uh, Argus. It's fine. Yeah, there you go. I think I could see a little extra hop in P-Train's step while he's walking. Just <laughs> nobody's going to get those booties. Okay, so we do know that boots not only hard lock Ganon, but they are going to hard lock something else. Probably a dungeon. Yeah, that wouldn't, we're missing enough dungeons that would not be surprising. Probably gonna at minimum get us a glove. Uh, chat mentioning no optional big. Well, we still don't know what Hera's got. Uh, Hera big chest might be optional, but yeah, uh, our, our quote unquote optional big keys have mostly not been optional. <laughs> yeah, we've already found Hera big key as well early. Yep. So we're gonna be full clearing Hera when we find it, unless we can find it in Gunmon. We might not do the basement. Because we don't have the small key to that yet. That's true. Like, I, I've been saying all week, worst worst key in the game. Because even if you're doing Hera, it's out of the way to do that check. You, yeah, if you have it when you get there. I don't think either runner is going to cry if they don't if they don't have it by the time they get to Hera. No, I I certainly wouldn't be. I, I cry when I get it later. I cringe, <laughs> and then I cry a bit. <laughs> All right, 300 rupees on Argus, but we got the thing we really wanted, which was the mirror. And a second crystal. And no surprise that Grey Corbett also is going to rush the uh, eastern part of the Dark World. B train, my friend, what are you doing? Oh, he's gonna do magic bad. He's right here. This totally makes oh, sense. Oh, right, right, right. Which we didn't, I think it was like 50 rupees or something. We saw this already. Yeah, Great Carpet looked at that earlier. Oh, no, it's a, it's a key. Oh, right, it's the Meyer Small. That's what it was. The, I suppose, key. Yeah, I think your your house is probably the best way to get. Like, you don't have a flute yet, so like there's no there's no getting around in this walk Wait. or swim. Looks like he's gonna swim it. Yeah. Get that map. I mean, like normally. Oh, I hey, map check. Myers are last pendant. Oh yeah, five six. Okay, we already knew that. All right. Uh, normally, the P train will know that as soon as he either checks his map or walks into Misery Mire. Normally, I do kind of make fun of people for rushing boots if they get a chance in a situation like this, but we don't have anything else to do, Tracy. No, we really don't. There's literally nothing else to do. And I the mean, boots are locking our progression. Somewhere. I would, I would make fun of someone rushing boots like we we joked about uh, mirroring out of uh, swamp and not finishing it first. Right. <laughs> but, you know, 
He even did Magic Bat before he came over here. So I, this is, I think this is exactly the order you do things in if you're P-Train. I mean, I guess boots don't have to lack progression they're going to. Could just be the mirror. Yeah, we got a lot of mirror checks to do now. But I'd rather do them with boots than without, so... Not wrong. Alright, Desert Palace Big Chest, what do you got? Nothing. Sigh. <laughs> Almost sad that there's nothing on the torch here, since it's actually set up for him to go back in and, and, and knock those five rupees right off the torch. And little does Grey Corvid know, they're about to get a required big key that they don't want to see. Yep. Please go get big key, Grey Corvid. Please go get big key. He remembered right away. Petrie had forgot. Had to come back. Ooh, that would have been detrimental. Oh my gosh, that would have been horrible. All right, we have boots now. Where are we going? Where can't we go? And fast, Tracy. Uh, it's, uh glove spots. <laughs> I always try to think of all the checks that I have available to me. Oh, uh, back at Desert, we can do this. We can do this. I, go, I think of all the checks available to me, and then I just go to the one I want to go to the least, and it's usually the answer. Hmm. And suddenly, uh, P-Train's going to be at three crystals after having none for almost 90 minutes. Yeah. That's exactly what Tracy and I were talking about earlier. You can get nothing for a while and suddenly one or two things and you're just getting dungeons done. Just cruising. Okay, so now that we know what all our crystals are, let's talk about go mode for a second. Uh, we need an Eastern Big Key. We need to find Hera. Love. We we need, well, I, had, I was I was getting there. All right, all right. Uh, we need a Thieves Town Big Key. We do indeed need the glove. And we need another Castle Tower Small. But we still need quite a bit. And where's our second sword? The, well, yeah, we need another sword for that matter. <laughs> and we need to find, uh, find maybe GT entrance to give us more good money. I don't know. I mean... You're, you're checking GT stuff if you if you find it now. We can't go to the left side without the uh, ham without sorry. Uh, well, we can tell you, we got everything. We got hammer hook shot for the left. We got uh, cane and fire off for the right. Somehow I had inserted the glove as a need to go left in my mind, and that's just not right. <laughs> Maybe uh, GT will have our glove. The only thing we need the glove for, honestly, is uh, ice palace. I mean, yeah. there could be there could be an entrance that we're missing under under a rock. That's certainly possible, but oh, like Desert West. Wait, oh, hey, did... we have these checks. Where did Great Carpet? Oh, did Great Carpet go to that connector and pod? He, he must have taken a connector that we haven't seen before. Well, we don't have a glove. Yeah, there's not. He already knows that the uh, ledge item is trash, and you can't pick up the rock. So yeah. Um, that entrance is in logic because we can do it with, uh, with the mirror. But not from there we can't. Okay, Grey Carpet, we need you to go to Skull Woods. I mean, he's running out of things. At some point, he's gonna have to just do it. Oh, is he doing first check swamp? That's too bad, because we know that's not the answer. And he's gonna have the ability to do all of it shortly. And we get it's... to Rust... And uh, castle uh, trip number 27 from P-Train, or whatever. It's a very well-known castle. We love it. <laughs> but at least we got boots to run through a little faster. Yay. Yay, boots. So this could be check uh, Bonk Rocks and King's Tomb. Or it could be something else. Oh, he's gonna. Okay, this this makes sense. He's gonna get his fifty bucks from the mushroom turn-in. Already has a red and a blue, so really no need to buy a potion. Red mail, thirteen hearts, an actual sword. You're just tanking everything. It's like bye.
Oh, unfortunate. Great Carpet's going for Desert North. Yeah, which... I mean, it's a thing that something? is available. Could yeah. it? Could be Misery oh, Mire. I can't Could do be... Desert North. We don't have a we don't have a mirror. What is he doing? All oh, right, he hasn't. Yeah, he's getting to swamp. What else? Uh, hmm. I somehow I already put him having all done all of Skullwoods, and that's wrong. Oh, Mimic Cave. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a tough one-off. There's nothing here. Yeah, at least P-Train is able to combine it with uh, Eastern. Bumper Ledge. Uh, um, we're going to see what's up at King's Tomb. I, I suspect P-Train will follow that after. Oh, you know what else we have for an entrance? Did Have we found... T I feel like we found TR Bridge. We did. Okay. Oh, hey, Pendant Skull Woods, and we can beat it. It led to our dam on West. Yeah, that feels Tierra. right. Compass to Hera. One of the more useless compass compasses. And P Train just says, you know what? Whatever, we're here, let's do it. We got you to know, I would do the same thing. I would totally yeah. do the same thing. It's it's pretty quick. You've got a fire rod. You've got extra magic if you need it. You've got a hammer for moth. You've got red mail to not get take a ton of hits. And if it's a glove, and it's, you'll be yeah, I've, I, and then yeah, and it's green pendant. So you get, well, I think we've seen Saha, but you know you still have an. Uh, it is two items instead of one. A great carpet. Realizing it doesn't have a small key. Oh no. Where did he spend that small key? Or did he ever check lava chest? I don't know. He might not have. I. I mm. Hi, Moth. Bye, Moth. Small key on Moth for Hera. Oh. Yay! Now we can full clear Hera when we find it. Weren't we just chatting about how much we love that check? Oh, I hate that key. That is the worst key. <laughs> so essentially we got two fetch quests out of that, because the green pendant and the uh, Hera small. Now, one of those fetch quests, we're, we don't even know where it is yet. <laughs> Uh, P train uh, checks his map, so now he has full map knowledge as well. Yeah, map Meyer knowledge is important. Okay, mm. so Great Corbett did go take that key from that pokey. I think he did check lava chest, but he never killed the pokey. Hmm. Okay. Now a little surprised that we're okay. So he could have gone through um, bumper cave. Uh, looks like he wants to prioritize these mirror checks instead. Which, I, yeah, this is fine, too. Makes sense. You're still looking for Hira. And I mean, in, in, in fairness, uh, most of the time when I play cross keys, I find bumper from both sides before I ever um, actually go through it, so. What's really funny is in a cross keys when you find entrances right near each other. Oh, there's uh, Meyer. Right after you figured out it was a pendant. Now, he might do it anyway, because... I mean, it's six checks. And you probably never have to come back. I think you're low enough on things that, yeah, I agree. I think you skip cutscene, but you do everything else. Hi, I mean, blind unless this has something really good. Like a Meyer bag. Then I think I'd want to avoid that more. That wouldn't be good. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, here we go. Greg Corbett's... Oh, you know what I bet he did? I bet he didn't. Yeah, I didn't grab the Poke Key. Because it looked like he went and got it and now is able to do Trinex. Alright, we got a Flute, Bombos. Half Magic, and Bombos. So, Flute doesn't do anything. Half Magic's good. Bombos doesn't do anything I for mean, it. Flute makes our travel much better. We get another Dark Pot. Another Pod Small. I still don't think P-Train goes back to Pod without at least five keys. Actually, actually, I could see going with four because you don't really want to. It's, it's a pendant. You don't really want to beat the boss. I, I typically make the game give me six small keys before I kill Helma. I'd wait for five before going back just to do everything I can. You know, you missed the one check you could have gotten early. 
No, but I mean, but I mean, you can do everything but Helma at this point, right? True. And I don't, and I don't worry about spending all my keys because it's a pendant. Yeah. And if the game point. really wants me to get uh, whatever is on Helma, uh, it's going to give me those keys. So, but we're going to do Meyer first because we're right here, and it's six items we can pick up. Meanwhile, Greg Corbett gets his first crystal, also a turtle rock. I don't see P Train doing cutscene though. You never know. It's kind of bad to get back here. I. Th I probably would do it, just because it's it's in such a bad spot. And I don't want to have to come back here just just because I found two more Meyer Smalls. Will we look where Great Carpet's going. Hopefully, swamp. Oh, I gotta go to Skull first, but then after. Yep, 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 yep. Hopefully, hopefully Skull Woods, then Swamp. Yes. I think pretty sure this is last location for Great Carpet, unfortunately. Next to the mm -hmm. one check in, in Village of Outcasts. I think you're right. Just ten bombs in the compass room. And Grey Carpet okay. says, you know what? That entrance in uh, Village Vat Cask and wait, we're just going to swamp. And that's the right call. And you are right, cutscene chest is gonna be a thing for Beat Drain. Funny enough, I would also, if this were a crystal, be a little bit more willing to leave it behind. Because you know you're coming back. Not wrong. Yeah, it's just a shield. I you would have been very sad if... Yeah, you would have been very sad if you had done that. Oh my gosh, I would have skipped cutscene 100% in this case. <laughs> I'd kind of think about it for a bit. I'd be like, I hope I didn't leave anything important. <laughs> but then when my opponent would say what was there, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's why I skipped it. Cool. There hey, we go. A glove. A glove. A glove. We could, we could actually, we could do Ice Palace. I don't know if that's what you do next, but we could. It's one, one additional item and the boss. So I guess two items and the boss. Small key to this dungeon. Oh my god. Wait, did he do the front two? The, the spike room and the... Ah, whatever. I think he did, yeah. I think he grabbed yeah. those in first. I was used to people going to the right side first. Sorry, left side first, Cash. You'd think I'd know my right from my left by now. Okay, yeah, six out of eight. Thanks, Vexer. Yeah, we're just... Yeah, I like this. We're just gonna go ahead and go and do Ice Palace, because we can, and it's right here. All right, so P-Train's getting ever closer to Govma, just looking for Hira Entrance, Yep. Eastern Big, Thieves Big, Castle Tower Small, and a sword? Yeah, I mean, just looking for. Uh, it's, this seed has been very breadcrummy, and we still haven't found Ganon's Tower, which could have things. And, and... Let's also remember that the Castle Tower Small Key can be behind seven crystals. Yes, it can. I have, I have, yeah, I've had that. Actually, it was, it was mitts in Ganon's Tower entrance for a, a CT small at, I want to say, Hammer Pakes. So, my, yeah. Mine was a Eastern Palace at GT entrance to get your mirror, to go get your GT, or to get your CT small from a mirror check. <laughs> It was brilliant. I loved it. I shared it immediately with the ALTTPR community. Of course you did. <laughs> Why would yeah? Seed like a seed like that needs to be shared. Exactly. It's beauty. It's it's perfect. Anyway, uh, Great Carpet about to regret every decision to go left side swamp. But again, given the amount of things you have available to you, you just don't skip this. Yeah, you do it. 
Oh, oh. no. I that is a definite. That. I, I have done that before, and it hurts. That check is not dead to me if I'm Greg Corbin. Yeah, no. That's reasonable. Oh, no, Great Carpet's gone back. Can't say I blame him, but oof. Okay, I'm gonna get a cold stair fight from p -Train. I'm gonna start off with uh, Bombos. Yeah, you want to have as many fire rod shots as you can get, since you only have a, a fighter sword. And this is gonna be enough, depending on where cold stair lands, to be able to finish the fight with just the fire rod. That amount of magic, Very I think nice that was about nine shots, maybe, but beautiful fight. Yeah, splash damage is, is your friend here. Key to Castle Tower. There we go, Castle Tower small. One less thing we need. All right. Technically, the game wants us to have a lamp, but eh. I mean, I wouldn't want. I wouldn't do Dark Aga in in well, pretty much any situation, because you need fire to to kill cannon anyway. So you're not actually opening up anything, but. I ain't waiting for a lamp to do Castle Tower. Those torches are easy enough to get to. The rooms that don't... It's weird, because Castle Tower is not in logic in... I mean, in Cross Keys, no dark room is in logic without a lamp, period. But even not in Cross Keys, Castle Tower is not in logic without a lamp, uh, because there are rooms without torches. The thing is, the rooms without torches are the easy rooms, and the rooms that are hard all have torches, so... Yeah, you know where those torches are. It's really not all that bad, especially if you have half magic. Use a little, a couple extra fire rod shots to find what you need. I think we're going back to the mire area for P train. Is there some mirror entrances here? I think we we haven't seen. I think K forty five is the and the uh, brothers left are the ones we haven't seen yet. Like this will be uh, three new entrances for P train. Four new entrances for P-Train. I forgot about this one at Eastern. Oh, Upgrade Fairy. How useful you would have been early in the game. I know, right? <laughs> when our runners kept having to buy bombs. I do wonder if Petrain was waiting for you, you scouted that Petrain. If he was waiting for a glove to do this so he wouldn't be orphaning uh, a checkerboard entrance. Yep, we saw that on Greg Corvid's side. And if Petrain knows, then Petrain would have scouted that while he was in the pot area too. Oh, Hotel Mario, how you doing? answer a question in chat, how is this race going? Well, P-Train's made some decisions a little bit early in Great Corbin. So P-Train has a little bit of an advantage in terms of clearing. Uh, found that mirror probably, what, a, a little bit under? Yeah, the big difference is P-Train going to Ice Palace to get his flippers. Um, yeah. Without the ability to beat it long before uh, Great Corbin did. He double dipped it before, in fact, Ray Corbett single dipped it. All right, we have some rocks to pick up. Okay, well, first you know, rock to pick up is nothing. That's bad, Saha. But oh, we know exactly where Ray Corbett's going. So, a quick answer to how this race is going. You just saw um, Ray Corbett beat Swamp. He got his mirror. If you pay attention to Great Corvid's side for the next minute or two, you'll see what we mean. And Petrain gets to enter the Dark World in the normal fashion. Oh my gosh. Imagine that. Imagine a glove. Love sitting there in Misery Mire, fairly recent find.
Oh, baby. Okay, well, uh, to be determined. <laughs> I mean, that was a big key to Ganon's Tower, if anybody missed it. Um, it's a big key to the well. <laughs> yep. I guess. So it's, it's 20, 32 items, if we could actually find GT. <laughs> The patron tried to rescue the frog, and he's like, "No, I guess I'm just gonna do other things first. It's hard to rescue the frog without the, without mitts, though. All right, unless it's inverted, and then the frog could have your moon pearl. Oh, oh the spiral cave! No, oh. <laughs> we're gonna do it because it is an item, and we'll see where it spits us out. So if, if someone, yeah, yeah, it's 27 checks in GT, but there's also a well behind it. So it's 32 items. Oh, um, almost that's all of them not are, useful. Right. Almost all of them are in logic too, if we find GT, because you know there's going to be a 4 GT small in GT. Yeah, fun fact about GT climb is you don't need any keys for the first two chests to be in logic. True. Hence why your pearl could be there on rare occasion. Or a hookshot. Or a mirror. Or something needed to get something important. And all, another fun fact about GT is you can have multiple GT smalls in cross keys on the climb. Uh, that cannot happen normally. I think even in key sandy modes that can't happen normally. Yay. Hey, boots for Great Corvid! Yay! Yay. All right, so Great Carpet is on the path to everything, but he's still got some time, some some to catch up to do. And if you're wondering why Petrin didn't pick up the rock uh, in the Dark World, there, it's because the um, that is a connector that we've already come out of. Oh, we're doing oh. Spike Cave. Now, does anybody recall what was on Lake Hylia Island? I don't... I think it was 20 bucks, wasn't it? Okay, then we I don't thought, care about it. I thought it was Samari initially, and I think I was correct. Right, too. that's right. Chat, chat, uh, doing their job and correcting us when we make mistakes. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Just goal was Compass sitting there in Spike Cave, and that's going to be end of P-Train's route there. But yeah, P-Train's starting to get close. Um... Yeah, just means about Eastern Big, Thieves Big, Hero Location. Yep. And a sword. I'm, I'm gonna... I think there's one Bonk location left and two Mirror locations left. So it's looking like Mitz may end up being required for Hera, but we'll see. It could just be right here. This will be our last Bonk location. Now that ain't, that's not the answer. Did we already come out of K45? Or you probably already checked that? Okay. This might be the TR bridge as an entrance here. Nope, it's not. Oh, we do have to look up, lift up this rock. It's our connector, isn't it? No, I guess not. It's just a just a shop. Yeah, we hadn't seen that one yet because uh, Great Corvus still needs to get those gloves out of Misery Mire. Yeah, do this. You want to? Well, well, maybe don't. I mean, it's uh, it's for the GT big. It's for the GT big in the long run. Right, okay. It was a series of connectors. I think this maybe spits out at the TR bridge. Yep, here we are. And I don't think P Train ever went back for a spiral, did he? Oh, he must have. No, he did spiral. It was nothing and it spit us out on the desert right. So it was worse than nothing. We have checkerboard left. He did checkerboard. Oh. Uh, bumper bottom, maybe. 
No, we did see that. Bumper Cave and we did not follow it yet. All right, we're going to go through the castle for the, the 75th time. Even though we do have normal Dark World access on Petra inside. <laughs> it's funny how in Cross Keys you just end up with these connectors that you just do over and over and over and over again. Oh, they're pretty convenient sometimes. Oh, yep, this is under a rock. And we can mirror to get the light world for- Ha! <laughs> it's GT! Yep. A P train. Um, yeah, P no, train. he's going back in. He's gonna check this light world spot first. This is an item, so this was good. You check this first. You get your piece of heart. And you walk off the, the uh... You got a GT to the get ledge, and you go, now you go back to GT. Gotta got those mets. I mean, statistically, we're going to find a sword here, too, right? Oh, hi, oh, hey, a lamp. I mean, there's a good chance Petrain doesn't find silvers, and, you know, lamp's good for torch glitch, so good to find that. Unless something's in that pod big chest or harmless segue, you're all right. <laughs> and this late, I'd, I'd be more happy to see that uh, lamp specifically for the torch glitch than for uh, any of the dark rooms. I mean, heck, what do even what do the dark rooms we even need to do? Uh, nothing. Hey, there are the myths. Yeah, we we the uh, we'll have to do the eastern ones, and that's it. Hi, sir. And, and those are pretty free. All right, we're probably gonna grab this key mirror out. So at this point, I, left. I think you do basement still, right? I mean, oh yeah, you're you're doing basement until either well. Mitz only gives you a couple of checks. Well, what? Mitz, I could see not going straight for the climb now because Mitz are probably going to give you uh, a Hera. Are Mitz just TR though? Hammer pegs, hammer pegs, TR, oh, and right. okay. ice and and uh, ice palace. Right, right, and right. And Smiths, but that, those are items, not locations. Now we had, and actually, we didn't even have TR until we just picked up that Ether medallion. Monkey to desert is, is items. Hey, desert's and logic. Oh, hype cave. Have we not seen this on P-Train's side? I don't think so. No, because he doesn't have that shield. He has a different shield. He has a cutscene shield. Bugnet. Arrows. Arrows. Okay, well... The usual life game. A, a required item in this location that Petrin hasn't gotten to yet would have been good for Greg Corvid. That did not happen. I didn't remember seeing Petrin check this. Yeah, he hasn't checked that and he also hasn't checked Brothers Left. Which is probably where he was going after this these checks here. But yeah, if I if I left the basement here without mitts, I'm pro actually with mitts I probably do everything, but um, I might skip tower room and I probably don't climb. I go look for for Tower of Hera. If mitts don't show up, I'm climbing. Like there's just there's too little left. Uh, a misery Mar big key. That's not the big key we're looking for. We are looking for that big key. So thieves town. Okay, so thieves town big key here. Yeah, okay, that's enough to do that. Yeah, you're not climbing at this point. You're doing the rest of basement, and yeah, then you're going to go do thieves, and you're going to go do. This isn't a terrible location. It's not a great location for this, but it's not horrible either, especially with that connector that gets you here very quickly. Yeah, with mitts, it's even faster to get here too. Actually, I actually think it might st for this particular location it might still be faster. Just take that Hyrule Castle uh, uh, connector. We do love that connector. Gate, yeah. I mean, it's been the, the connector of the day, so... Hey, another pod small. Yay. Wow, we're only one pod small away from our... our from logic. Uh, and logic. Yeah. Yeah, that was an unfortunate series of events there for P-Train. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, Great Corvid having found the back of desert uh, makes quick look work of the landmos because silvers are great for landmo. But that was just a map to Hyrule Castle. Actually, I guess P-Train has that too. I'll dub that Meyer require if double dip if Meyer is required to be beaten, I should say. There's, There's our fourth fourth GT small. Right. Alright, we're gonna oh we have, we have a flute we can activate. I think he activated it actually. I think he could just flew oh, away. Oh, okay. Then he then even better. We have a flute we can just run away with. Okay, so that's five items left in GT plus the five in the well. Because we didn't do tile room. But the game gave us things to do. It gave us a, a, a clearable Thieves Town. And it gave us mitts for some extra uh, uh, locations where Harrow could be. So Eastern Big Key is the last big key puzzle. Then it's just Hero, which should be available to us now. Yeah, there's, there's nowhere else left. And hey, and guess what? It's not Pyramid Fairy because Hera is a red crystal. That That's happy. And that was Spiral Cave for Great Corvid. Unfortunately, it gets the bad news. It just spits you out at Desert Right. It's more or less P-Train just looking for an Eastern Big, and otherwise it's pretty inevitable to find your hero. And there goes Greg Corvid for the 67th time on his side through the Hyrule Castle connector. Hey, girls, how you doing? They're, they're on a first name basis now. That, that one, that, that, that one back there is Johnny. He's he's coming over for dinner tomorrow. It's fine. All right, and P Train remembering to bomb the attic. Well done. This is not atomizer, <laughs> unlike we've been playing. We isn't like anybody in league right now, just like practicing. A anybody who's already Amazing. played their cross keys week, right? <laughs> right. Because next week is Animizer Co op. With Boot Start. Oh, yeah, Boot Start. Specifically, and I have it on good authority that the Boot Start is specifically to be trolly without a, to have boots without a sword in Animizer. It is, it is, it's a thing. Shoutouts to League Founder, Fear Agent. So far though, Thieves Town back doesn't have the goods. Now we have two more shots at it. Right, Corvid, meanwhile, doing a lot of these mirror checks that we've already seen. And at least Thieves Town is not horrible between Gomo, Thieves Town, and that. I mean, go mode these down means you can skip the pot key. That's that's it. Like, which is nice. You know, you can skip the pot key because you don't have to go to the big chest. And hopefully, Gray Corvid does go into into mire here because those those gloves are gonna be needed. Yeah, they kind of lock the other gloves and two big keys. And beating ice, you know, small details. Details. Absolute nothing at the use town, but it is a crystal, and we have to do it. So P Train picks up that crystal. That is crystal number four or five, I should say. I, I feel like the next thing for P Train to do is go back into the dark world and and hit uh, Brothers Left um, K45, and then he can uh, grab the um, connector up to the uh, Dark Death Mountain to get TR.
Yeah, it sounds good. We do hear your folks Oh, he's going to do... Oh, I, no, this is... I like this better. Castle Tower is here. He's just going to do Castle Tower right now. And that'll spit him out on the top of the pyramid, so he can go to all those places from there. For those of you that have missed it, Lumberjack locks Ganon, so we do have to do this. And P-Train does have both CT smalls. Gray Carpet is on path to get the second one right now. But more importantly right now for Gray Carpet, uh, well, just as important, the glove is here. Right, so question in chat, what is the difference between red crystals and blue crystals? So the five, six or red crystals represent the crystals found in Ice Palace and Misery Mire. And for whatever reason, when the game was coded, uh, it's those crystals that unlock the ability to pick up the big bomb at the bomb shop at Dark Link's house um, in order to open Pyramid Fairy. Now, in this case, we don't care because um, we're looking for the only entrance we need at this point is Tower of Hera. So the only way... Um, I, I shouldn't say we don't care. We probably don't care. The only way that location is going to be relevant is if it if it's an item cave with the Eastern Big Key. So unlikely to be important at this point. Yeah, I mean, because it can't be Hera because we need Hera to even uh, be able to go there. You know what uh, Greg Corvid's about to get. Uh, it doesn't look away, exist. Look away! Doesn't exist. Doesn't look away, exist. Lana. <laughs> I covered my eyes. It's fine. It didn't happen. Gosh, I think if I'm P train, pretty much like you said, go for pure entrances till you find Hera. Pull clear it maybe, and then back to GT for the climb. Yeah. I, I mean, I would do tile room before I would do climb, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly, exactly what I would do. And if it's not there, then you clear out the rest of Mire. Pod yeah. and pull pen, but unlikely to go that need to go that far. Or we just flew away from here. That works too. I mean, you're probably closer to the entrance you need um, by uh, going over to uh, Flute 4. We're going to do this one first at Ice Palace, though. Nice and quick. Not the answer. Okay, Hammer Peg, Sierra Entrance. I would, I would flute, yeah, I don't think it matters flute 3 or flute 4, but either way, you know, it just depends on which direction you want to go. Uh, looks like we're going flute 3, so we're going to do hammer pegs and then south. Makes sense. Still hasn't uh, done K45, so I'm going to get hype get yep. a little bit happy and immediately sad. Yep. But on the upside, uh, p is going to have a full quiver. Great Corbett does have that flute activated. I could grab the smith. We're gonna do hammer pegs first. We're really looking for an entrance. I mean, we're also looking for Eastern Big Key. Uh, I don't remember where the smith was. I don't feel like it was a simple 
return to Kakariko Day, though, for the Smith. I think it was uh, Ice Rod Cave. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not the worst because you can flute there, you know, save a portal, flute there, flute back. Okay, not there. So maybe grab your Smith, go do Hype Cave, but you don't know is Hype Cave. The problem with grabbing the Smith is that you can't, you'll lose him if you complete a dungeon. Okay, so okay he doesn't not... He doesn't want to do those south checks. Okay, maybe he's going to do it from here? Uh, Why? He does still have Turtle Rock entrance. Yeah, I and I don't think we've, I still don't think we've seen Brothers Left. Did we see that from Grey Corbett? I know, I know Petrin hasn't been to Hype Cave at Cave 45. I don't think it, I don't think we have, no. But yeah, as Drossi says in chat, uh, the smith goes poof if you pick up a crystal. It has to do with follower properties. Apparently a crystal is considered a follower uh, for enough time that you lose the smith. And you can't have two followers at the same time. The same reason that if you ha if you drag the smith over to the pod area, you'll lose him when you, when you find Kiki. Or if you grab blind, uh, also same thing. Yep. Okay, does this have to be it, Tracy? This has to be here, right? I'm not sure if we've seen Brothers Left, but probably? I think we saw Ray maybe, Corbett. We did. One we saw Ray did. Corbett do Brothers West. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure this has to be Tower of Here at this point. And here it is! Petrin, of course, will be hoping to find the eastern big key here. Before the basement. Yeah. Now, given this location, I think he goes back into Pod before he climbs GT. Very well, good. Get those silvers. His Pod is right here. And he's got five small keys, so he can do. He can literally do everything. You know, Gary Corford's going to finish up Ice Palace. Has plenty of magic, going to use Bombos to save some of that magic. Not big chest. Mm. Yes, yeah, so Gary Corford, not with quite the luck that uh, P Train had with that, but finishes off uh, the Puffs No Issue. And now, if you want to grab the smith, uh, you can, because we're not going to be completing any more crystals until we get to Easter, and then we're in go mode. We don't care if the smith goes poof. Oh, but it could just be here? Yeah, it's just here. Alright, 217.11. P-Train not only picks up crystal number 6, but is in go mode officially. Uh, Master Sword Silverless, anyone? But with at least the mitts and the flute, going to be able to get back to Eastern without connecting. Yeah, Eastern's over in the Misery Mire area. Wouldn't surprise me if he checks Eastern Big Chest, hoping that that would either be a bow or another sword, but I could also see skipping it. He's got a lot of good safeties here for, for the Ganon fight. He's got Cape. Um, he's got at least one blue and a red. Got half magic, so... Ray Corbett finding that GT entrance. Yeah, just, you know, the, the path of this through this seed was just generally very linear and breadcrummy. Like one breadcrumb just leads to the next. It was almost. And just, uh, yeah, and, and there wasn't really the opportunity for Ray Corvid to. Uh, take a chance or make a play at any point. No, so once he just, got behind, it just he's just basically been following P-Train's uh, footsteps. Yeah, it just came down to who went to Ice Palace first, and uh, P-Train went there twice before Greg Corvid 
Find what's, what there. Yeah, and what's worse, um, I feel like the right play for him, not know if you don't know the answer uh, to the seed, is to f climb GT if you feel behind in hopes that your opponent didn't. And, I gotta and think, we know that's not the right answer. Yeah. And I gotta think with Grey Corbett's reaction to not remembering where to go before finally remembering Ice Palace that at some point Ice Palace just slipped their mind. Yeah. And I don't think it ever even occurred to them to skip it. I just think they never thought of it. Uh, I don't know if the Eastern Palace uh, mark is a mistrack or just a little bit uh, ahead of... Like, we know he's about to finish it. Maybe there'll be a sword on the Armos Knights. That is not a sword. <laughs> and probably the GT climb. <laughs> or the yeah, we're, we're, going, we're going Master Sword Silverless. This will probably be a flute to eight. Swim into the into the water portal. Run over to Lumberjack. All right. Little does Great Corbin know. Just have to go to what? Rando room. Get your desert big. Uh, thieves big. Thieves big. Okay. Yeah, it's not even the thieves big that's the the big deal in terms of. Uh, Finish. I mean, obviously you need it for Thieves Town, but it's the myths that finally opened up the Turtle Rock entrance. Alright, Ganon apparently concerned for our health. And just a quick reminder, while we are on the Ganon fight, we only remind everybody once, don't forget to give these two runners a follow. Putting put on a great show for us, we got them a, a race in here for trying to keep first place for Team Underachievers, or trying to catch up for Team BNH, the a LTTPR team. Uh, but otherwise, uh, links are in chat for the runners, and while you're at it, give my Cocon Tracy a follow, and our tracker, Pixcalibur. And while you're at it, go ahead and give Lanavi a follow as well. Ooh, nice, nice spot for Ganon to sit for some sword spins. And we're gonna just put that cape on and grab the wall so that we don't actually take damage or use up magic because uh, reasons. <laughs> Game doesn't like to do two things at once, so you can uh, you can uh, take advantage of that with the cape in a lot of situations. 52 spins total for this fight. 12, 12, 4, and 12. Sorry, 12, 12, 4, and 24. We call it the 52 spin pickup. Did you find the silver arrows in the Palace of Darkness? Well, kind of. Feature ensure didn't. He almost did. We're still, I mean, we're still missing one pod small to even put those in logic, so... You can't use them anyway. <laughs> Not wrong. Probably just on the G. This is probably, I, I, I would guess, a logically required GT claim. Because there's just not a lot of places left where that pod, uh, pod small could be. Yeah, I would not be a surprise. Oh. <laughs> 
great carpet now! Yep. Thought so. I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna see the dot done uh, relatively soon. And unfortunately, we're not even gonna get a chance to see the items up here. But Speaking of dot done... Yeah, P-Train finishing this up with an official race time of 2.24.20 GG's to P-Train and the underachievers are gonna, can, can, gonna remain in first place. You know the drill chat? Get your GG's in. You're already doing it. Hey, Drossy, you in there? Does this clinch them a playoff spot or do they need another win? <laughs> I, I know Drossi will be staying up late Sunday night figuring out all the uh, the playoff implications coming up for both Invitational and Open. And we do have uh, P-Train. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, P-Train joining us in chat. How are you doing? GG's. GG's. GG's, P-Train. So, so. Nope, that was a seed. <laughs> that, I feel that like... Was, I have many <laughs> nouns I could use to describe that. I mean, the game didn't give you a lot of options, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. Like, even when I had options, they all sucked. Like, I never <laughs> felt good. The the, the only time where I felt like I might be okay was when I got the Eastern Palace big key <laughs> off of Moldorm. <laughs> Aside from that, like, once I hit the hour 45 minute mark, I was just expecting Grey Corvid. Like, oh yeah, he hit the route. Like, there, you could have certainly done it better, and I did it. You know, I mean, and, you, know. you, you dipped ice early and just did the one check you could have gone further and i feel like maybe that would have been the god route but you also got well, back because no, you needed the you needed the big key for the flippers i guess you didn't have the big key yet the first time i didn't even think about no. that so, I, did, yeah. I did i super early yeah you that, did the first yeah, chest yeah. yep so uh, but yeah you got back there a lot sooner and at one point gray corvid had, looked like he had forgotten that that was a possibility when it was his last location so but how about the bomb situation for the first hour of the scene? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I skipped the bomb shop because I was like, yeah, these are like super expensive bombs. They're, they're like, you know, I did do yeah. the lamb. They're twice as, and, twice as much. <laughs> had to go buy them again, and then many moldworms weren't cooperating, so I mm. burned like six out of my bombs. I couldn't do escapable bombs. Yeah, we're. So we're that was fun. Yeah, that <laughs> mini moldworm cave, like that one, the bomb on the left side. That looked like it was exactly where you wanted to be. Oh, hey, tempered sword on the climb. Uh, exactly where you would want it to be to kill both of them, and then it just just didn't. Like neither one of them. I've I've never seen that before. We were upset for you, P Train. Yeah, I was. Uh, no, no more than I was. I I guarantee you. <laughs> Evil shield. I, I felt like like was this seed actually as bad as it felt, or was I just like playing? Like no, I couldn't I mean, tell, I couldn't tell if I was just routing poorly, or if I, this seed no. was like actual trash. I, I feel <laughs> like this seed was yeah, was it, yeah it was just super linear and super breadcrumby, which is kind of trashy if if you ask me. Like it kept giving you like one thing. Like you 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 get your flippers out of. I'm trying to remember if this this might or might not be the right. Or you get your flippers and then you get the Skullwood's big key, which you almost forgot. To, yeah, that was, we were yelling at you to go back. Maybe you heard us in the future. I don't know. Um, you got your skull was big key. And then that opened the one chest to get the swamp small, to go back into swamp, to finally get your mirror so you can finally get your boots. Like it just, no, it just I, I, yeah. Just, the, just, skull, the skull was big key was always on my mind, but I just never was back in the area. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I finally comboed it with the hammer entrance yes, that was right. in. Uh, that's right. And even then, I was debating. I was like, "What's faster, big chest and then the entrance, or entrance and then big chest?" Mm -hmm. And especially since it was like in the back of Skull Woods, I just figured Village of Outcasts was faster. Yep. But um, but no, like I, I felt. I mean, shoot, it was like an hour and a half. I was like, I don't know where any completable dungeons are. I, I don't know if I had the hammer at that point. I certainly didn't have a glove. Yeah, the the hammer, and, uh, uh, the hammer. You, you did your your first crystal at 
gosh, I, I don't remember the time, but it was pretty late, and it wasn't even in Logic, because you didn't have all the TR small keys. The Moon yeah, Pearl yeah. was horrible. Like, to connect, uh, like, thank God I got that as early as I did. Oh, God, the, the connector to the connector? <laughs> yeah, you had to take Paradox Cave into the Mire area, yep. then do, I'm no, sorry, you had to no, take uh, Spectacle Rock. Spectacle Rock. Area. Yeah, so you had to do that to the Mire area, then Paradox, which you could clear by, you know, exiting and re-entering. Yep. yep. Uh, and then take that over to Death Mountain, and then you better pick the correct drop. To get to Pod, to get your Moon Pearl. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, luck luckily it was the one that almost everyone picks, but... uh. Right. No, that was, that was, like, I mean, when I got the Pearl, I was like, okay, you know, maybe this isn't that bad. And, you know, then the whole mirror sequence... And then the hammer, and it's like, I'm sitting there with the hammer, and I'm like, I, I still don't know where anything is. Like, what do I even... I can't even go back to ice, because I don't have a glove. Yeah, I, it was... Yep. <laughs> it was pretty bad. But uh, we do have Greg Corvid uh, joining us. GG's. That was a that was a rough one. GG's. GG, P-Train. GG, hello. GG's, man. Dude, that this was, was awful. Um, <laughs> that was lots of fun. Thank you, uh, Home, for uh, rolling this one. It was great. I'm going to share it with all my friends. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll they'll absolutely love you for it. Um, mm -hmm. Of course they will. Yeah, yeah. The the biggest issue for you. Was I didn't go to Ice Palace. Just, I glazed right yeah. over it. My yeah. eyes just glazed right over it and cack. Have that purple. How, how long did it, it take? Because it took you a bit to remember that that was the thing. It took you me had a bit to remember because I'm just like struggling. It's like oh, I'm running back to Pod for one check and running over here for one check and running over there for one check. Oh right, Ice Palace. Well, I'm a dingus. Let's go there. Oh, there's the flippers. Oh, oh, there's the. Ha okay, fine. Thank you, game. <laughs> That's lovely. I don't think I got a glove in like two hours. <laughs> yeah, the glove was in Meyer. Oh, I want to say Petrain got it like 140 something. Yeah. But yeah, unfortunately, it just puts you behind, and the seed was mm -hmm. really linear beyond that. So you, yeah. you just, you're doing all the same things. I mean, I liked your decision to climb GT. Like, between the two of you, Petrain, you chose not to climb GT. I liked that decision. Your Gomon might just be on, on the path, find your find Could be on the, the path up there, could be Hera. the well was there. Gray so Corvid, I'm, like, I'm just doing it. Probably yeah. felt behind, so let's oh, go yeah. find that, that eastern big key uh, in the well, you know, because it's a bunch <laughs> just, of items. <laughs> I, I had to hope that it was the GT big was my saving grace. Mm -hmm. What? It wasn't. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I'm done. Yeah, what, once I got the the thieves town big key from the rando room yep i did like a quick check of my inventory i'm like i can access every entrance in the game so i'm yes. guaranteed to have access to tower of era yeah so from that point i was like let's go do thieves town let's full clear thieves town uh because i mean it's full clear versus go mode doesn't really matter there. yeah it really doesn't and then after that i pretty much abandoned everything to check tower of era um, and even then, like, I just, I mean, it's the, like the two hour, 15 minute mark, like yep. most entrances, most entrance seeds, you're, you're in go mode by like the two hour, yeah. five minute mark. Sure. Yeah. So I'm like literally expecting Gray to just die done at any point. I'm like trying to debate with myself whether I do the tile room in era. And even then, like, what do I go back to, you know, mm -hmm. cause you maybe could have dipped pod with a few more keys. Um, yeah, I had a lot of bad. Mm. Oh yeah, I saw that. Um, so you know exactly where your silvers were. Uh, I, I guess the most it, annoying place for me would be top of the dark maze. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I right took up. a death there. That's my yep. first bow. <laughs> Logical yeah, silvers, because we never did find pod six. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I took a death in dark crawl. So I took a death in. I wasn't able to get the second item out of the maze. Just a bunch of little things just to kind of tilt me. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then, like, getting funneled into hammerless, gloveless ice mm -hmm. was just the the final straw. Like, I just, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, this is, this is it. You know, this is how this <laughs> ends, you know? Like, my team's hopes and dreams are, like, riding on me winning this game. <laughs> and it's, I'm just getting kicked in the pants, like, over <laughs> and over and over again. No, you can't have a glove. No, you can't find a dungeon. Here's a hammer, like but it's not going to do anything for you. <laughs> it took me forever to get a sword. Yeah, the first sword that was, was that Ice Palace sword in, in when you went and got your flippers for both of you. Yeah. yeah. And who knows what oh, the fourth yeah. sword is? Apparently, let's yeah. see. 
the second sword was in GT, right? In, in right side, I want to say. And then the third one was on the climb, which you, you obviously yeah. wouldn't have gotten P-Train. Yeah. No, it's a disgusting moon pearl. Disgusting <laughs> sequence to the mirror. Disgusting <laughs> sequence to the Eastern Palace Binky. Like, it's yep. just everything about the seed was just really, like, all the way up until Go Mode. Mm -hmm. Tracy and I were enjoying the uh, the connectors you guys kept taking through Harrow Castle. Oh god! Oh god! I <laughs> didn't heard, yeah, yeah. There. You, we, oh, we yeah. saw a lot of Harrow Castle. <laughs> oh yeah, the connectors were terrible, and being mocked by those boots on floating <laughs> island <Yeah>. constantly, <laughs> being mocked by the boots, wondering where's my mirror <laughs> so I get the boots. And I even found the connector, like, you know, I, I mm -hmm. can't remember what I did, but I ended up, like, on that side of the map. So I knew that Desert West would give me the boots. I'm like, oh, yeah, all I need to do is find a mirror, and I got boots. Like, that's going to be so easy. No, see, it never works that way. You're, you're silly to think it's ever going to work that way. Well, great, great. Uh, you, did, you did find that connector much earlier than P-Train. I think you, I want to say you sequence broke it. I want, no, you just went no, to Ice No, he just, he just went to Ice Rod Cave early. Yeah. Yeah, who had, the, who actually had the boots first? You did. Okay. Yeah. He, he, well, saw, yeah. he saw the connector first. I want to say you, P-Train, saw the boots first. Uh, so we had like two pieces, two out of three pieces of the puzzle. But you just, I mean, once... Uh, getting back to ice sooner you just you you had this lead that there just wasn't a play that gray could make no to, to I, knew, I knew when i jump found over. ice everything was lead. everything oh, was just back into ice that lead. i was dead i knew i was dead that, that's that's funny because i felt like absolute dog poop like finding that mirror i was like oh of course it's here like <laughs> like it just felt like at a last location. I don't know what else I, mean, I had at the time. Doesn't, but... doesn't your opponent always god route against you i mean isn't that how it works <laughs> How it always feels. feels. Especially on a scene <laughs> sure like does. this, where you know, you're just not having fun, and then I'm finishing on Mass Short Silverless Ganon. I was like, what's gonna happen is that Gray ended up climbing GT even though I skipped it. But because he got like tempered silvers, yeah. he's gonna make up all that time on this fight, and I'm gonna get sniped by like three seconds. That that's what I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could see thinking that. <laughs> well, you're okay. right about the climb. And the sword. <laughs> All right, so so P train, it does put your team in in really good position. Um, at at now nine and three. Um, I I have no idea if that clinches playoffs. I have, well, I guess it can't because eight. This division. Yeah, I don't. Nuts. I don't think it does. Yeah, I was saying he's got the nuts. long shots at eight and four, so like that's only one yeah. up. But that's still it's still a nice position to be in. Uh, we need to win. I mean, I think one. Yeah, one win would get you playoffs. Two would get Ten you the division. Ten should probably do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was thinking. I think maybe we have to win, and long shots have to lose. I'm not sure. Well, you're about one that. game ahead because you're nine and three, and they're eight and four. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, oh, that's right because they had already raced both their races. Before right. We got started. So yeah, so so you, you're one game ahead. And I, I have no idea who has the tiebreaker, and, and I don't see Drossy in chat to ask. <laughs> um, he might well, not I, know yet. <laughs> we we swept long shots. Okay, so yeah, so um, I think one gets you the division then. Yeah, because I know at a, at a point it was uh, long shots versus cowardly Dodgers, mm -hmm. and like all of us and uh, and we hadn't faced you know this team yet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we were we were like just you know little flags rooting for. Uh, long shots because we had swept them but we split cowardly dodgers <laughs> there you uh, go <laughs> i honestly i think everybody the top four in our division has been in first place at one point in this I believe entire it. series yeah, yeah i believe at it point, one, like each of us have been at first at one point yeah now now great you're division. not done yet um well, you know, you, two more races might, at least you get two more races you might i i have no idea i'm not even gonna try and figure out wild card standings but you're definitely oh, not out Lord. of one of, of uh, of getting in through just the division, so yeah, uh, you got things to play for next next week. So oh How yeah, we do. Uh, I'm feeling okay with open animizer. I kind of like animizer. It's wacky. I like the wackiness. It is definitely wacky of animizer <laughs> and stuff. And I don't think my teammates mind animizer either. Um, I don't know how we'll fare against uh, Beckler's gamers, North Stream Beckler's gamers, or something. 
Um, let me see. Let me see. I have it right here. You are playing yeah. Norstein Beckler's game gamers. Okay. Yes. Uh, thank thank you for uh, not being the long name that I yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> team here that I'm sorry. Like, that's what we had be, next to with character think. limit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the Derek Zoolander is school for yep. kids who want to play yep. rando good yep. and want to do other yep. things good too. Yes. Uh, we'll just have to see how, how the chips fall. Honestly, in this last week, for and see if it just happens to to go our way or not. I don't know yet. So, just wait, wait and see. Uh, yeah. Good luck to both of you. Either way, uh, it's been it was a fun race to call. So, um, anything else either one of you want to add before we close this out? Um, no, GG's Gray. Um, I wish we could have had a more fun seed for both of us. <laughs> but um, GGP train. Yeah. I I am just delighted that I got to finish with Mirror Shield. That's always good. <laughs> or is it? It is. It really is, Lana. <laughs> Maybe he's just saying that for your benefit, Lana. <laughs> uh huh. Anyway, fantastic race from the both of you, GGs. Thank you very much for putting on such a great show. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. And of course, um, yeah, that's going to do it for us for tonight. There are no more races on the schedule today. Uh, let's check out the schedules for tomorrow. Okay, so nothing yet uh, assigned, but the first two races in the invitational side of things at 6, 10 a.m. for those of you either in Europe or those of you that are early risers on the Sunday, that, not me. Uh, we have Malte Bastion versus Cross Keys, Faker Jr. versus Breve. Uh, and then at 11.10, the next race is Begone Pot versus Last Locationeers, T Stu versus Structural Mike. Um, there are several other races on the schedule after that, but since none of them have channels, uh, I'd say go ahead and keep an eye out on your speed gaming schedule. Uh, I see if there's anything on the open side of things. I was uh, thinking, like, I don't think there is yet. Yeah, there's nothing yet. There is, it looks, yeah, it looks like there's some some races that might get uh, restreams on the open side, but nothing confirmed yet. So also keep an eye on that schedule. Um, yep, and to see what all, there is an 8 a.m. or 8.40 or 8.30 a.m. race. Maybe uh, we'll get some early risers. Someone will, will pick that one up, but yeah. Uh, Lana Bean. Uh, absolutely a pleasure. I was thrilled to see when we were trying to get this race on the air uh, that you wanted to join me. My pleasure. It's a pleasure as always uh, hanging out with you and chatting for a couple hours. I love doing these. Uh, it was wonderful as always. Thank you. Thank you to Pixcalibur as well for helping us keep on top of tracking. Yep. Tracker's always the MVPs. Uh, and, but that's going to do it for us and we will see you at the next race. Bye everybody.